the final frontier of free speech. This program is intended for mature audiences only and contains strong or potentially offensive language of an adult and sexual nature. So, listener discretion advised. The views and opinions expressed on the curvaceous bounty of Sin City do not reflect those of this radio station or its affiliates. Calypso, Alexia, Sierra, and Sweet Cheeks are personalities put on for your entertainment. All music, stories, and characters are the sole property of their creators and are protected under international copyright laws. The stories are real. The language is explicit. The behavior is outrageous. If, if you, you can't, can't take the heat, get, get the, the fuck, fuck out of the kitchen. When my girl got the sweetest pussy Nestles in her lap Be the first to admit And wanna stroke that kid And fell right into her trap Now all that fur and a purring Gives me cause to cause She may have a pretty kitty boo Watch out for those claws Las Vegas, Nevada, it is the curvaceous bounty of Sin City. Starring Sierra, Calypso, Alexia, and Sweet Cheeks. Good evening, Las Vegas. And, and around the world. world. <laughs> In stereo. On Vegas. Good job, Mama. On that Good radio. Job. So if you're listening to our podcast and you have any comments, questions, concerns, bitches, gripes, groans, complaints, you can email them to info at sincitybounty.com and we will promptly ignore them. Not really. <laughs> Unless it's a penis picture. And then we will put it on our website. You know, um, as a matter of fact, we got a request to find out what it would take to become Sin City Beef because we have two pages oh, I think that I have we have not developed me. and that's Sin City Beef and Vegas Vixens. Vegas Vixens. We need to talk about this at our meeting and do a Sid City Beef. Um, well, I sent texts out to everybody. A beef there of the go. month. Yeah, I think we should do. Ooh, beef of the beef month. Of beef of the month. month. So That's here's nice. here's the idea that also we do came up with. Bag of the month. Thank you so much for being a fan of the show. To become a member of Sin City Beef, please provide two pictures, a minimum of 300 by 300 pixels, both a face picture and a full body picture. And please answer the following questions. First name. Name used in our chat stream during shows, age, location, occupation, height, likes, favorite curvaceous Cock bounty size. episode. Oh, sorry. Hold on, we're getting there. A dating story, good or bad, preferably funny. And optional, a penis picture, because we love them. Now, <laughs> you can take all of this for Vegas Vixens and change that from penis picture to either a picture of your pussy or a picture of your breasts. I don't, I don't know, I... I know it's a bit of a b double standard, but I don't think we should require women to have boobs or. I don't think we pictures. should require Sin City Beef to have no. It's pictures. optional. No, they're, they're optional. They're optional. We're not they're requiring optional. either one. We're not. requiring That's true. They're one. not requirements because then we can take them, especially if we get like a spread open vagina, so you see all of your bits and pieces. We you can, can put do mangoes in it. Well, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Photoshop. What we could do? No. What we could do is you know that wall art that you really like, the one that's yes. all the different types of vaginas. We could make. Vegas Vixen Vagina Wall I Art. I don't like we that. Could. I will totally put up Mango as the first one. I've got... Oh, I don't have any clean ones. I'll have to take some clean pictures. <laughs> of Ew. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't like the vagina? I don't know. I love the vagina. No, I, I don't... It's, it's not that I don't like the vagina. I just don't want someone to feel like they're left out if they don't want to send a vagina picture. They don't have they to don't send have to. I know, but then they won't be part of your artwork and I would feel left out and... So send they me a picture of your vagina. Well, my vagina's like all over the internet, I, I was so I don't say, fucking care. Like we can't get a Cut picture of <laughs> my <laughs> JJ. I don't care. I'm not talking about me. You want it from the left or from the right? Whatever you want. The hairless behind. part, the non-hairless part, see, whatever see, you DJ, want. See, DJ says they're all just a can of worms, so whatever. Wait, wait. The JJ's are cans <laughs> of yeah, worms? Yeah, he said they all just look like a can of worms. Well, let's talk about how ugly <laughs> balls are, okay? DJ's carpet says, what about Biscuit of the Month? Did you just say that? No. Is our boy Vendetta on yet? Uh, no. Okay. Well, when he uh, hold on. Because we have a Vendetta request. <laughs> we no. do have a Vendetta request. We have Diamond Dave, though. Hey, Dave. What's up, Dave? And, of course, 
Wendy of Neverland. Yay, Wendy! Wendy. I love w- Wendy's getting a little more verbal on her Facebook pages. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> she likes all my Barack Obama rants. Just so you know, Dave is on this early because he is waiting patiently for cotton candy. Oh, that's oh. right. Dave, you're supposed to be in the studio tonight. Yeah, where the hell are you? <laughs> Liar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he did. I think he did say that he would not uh, be driving. But she did uh, help him California. through a lot of lonely times. He did tell <laughs> she us. She did. She did. Dave, I'm so he- glad. <sighs> oh my god, this is like the first time we haven't had a guest on our asses at seven o'clock when we walked <laughs> through the door. <laughs> I don't know what to but do. We don't know what the fuck to do with our guests. Only like, because our guest canceled, and I uh, and you but know. we have plenty of stuff going on after uh, eight o'clock. Like it's going to be jamming. So let's do here. like a non dating sexual catch ups. Oh, like we went to see the greatest movie. Oh, ever. I have lots we of non dating sexual catch ups because I didn't have sex this week. <laughs> non non sexual catch ups. You poor poor thing. You said she, she I want to talk about the motherfucker who's telling people he's had sex with me and he didn't have sex with me. What? Tell I told you already what to tell him. Tell the motherfucker. I went, he okay, you. I went oh, to. You know what? That's that's a gr- that's a great yeah, idea. Let's discuss let's, that. Let's discuss what do you do when you find out that somebody's telling tales about your vajayjay. <laughs> and their entrance now, into it. Now I have to tell you that this particular <laughs> person <laughs> has tried to get this for JJ. Okay, but I know the girlfriend, and oh. I won't go there if I know the girlfriend. Now, if I don't know your girlfriend, then we might have another story. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but point being is, is like better put a ring on it, girls. So he tried. Okay, I mean he's tried, and I never ever went anywhere close. And he went and told somebody asked me last night and goes, so I heard that you had sex with so and so. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, no, before the girlfriend. Uh uh-uh. uh. I didn't meet him until he had the girlfriend. So I never knew him before he didn't have the girlfriend. Ooh, yeah, and I said, well, he's bragging about something he never got. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So what? What's your? What was your initial reaction when you heard that that well, he was telling tales? Well, it was the funniest thing because this person said told me because we have actually been with a couple of the same people and she had been and I go I go who and she tells his name again and I'm and actually the plumber. His real name is this, okay? And but he doesn't go by the same. So I'm thinking, well, maybe she met him. And then she tells me, and I go, oh hell no, I never had sex with him. Are you sure? I, think I, I would, would remember, remember, or maybe it was that bad. I did remember, but no, I never had sex with this Wait, boy. Did so you? my reaction was like, I was like, fuck. Like, does it make him feel like a man to tell people? I'm going to say to him. You need to not say that story. Well, I like Mama's idea. Just tell him he owes you one. If you're going to be telling tales that we had sex, we better (laughs) goddamn have sex. No. No. I don't want to have sex with him. I understand that, too. (laughs) Pam. I think I should owe him, like, he owes me some kind of service fee or something. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Look, if if I'm making you look good by you telling people we got it on... Then you owe me little. Uh, you owe me fifty nine ninety five. Yeah, ninety five in my PayPal account. <laughs> does that mean her cooch is copyrighted now? <laughs> <laughs> you have a copyrighted cooch. People have got to pay it to use it. Hasn't ever my cooch always been copyrighted? <laughs> Whether you said you used it, you really used it, or you just looked at it, it'll cost you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people that owe me money for just looking at it. That okay? Should I owe you money? <laughs> Send it all you bitches a bill. <laughs> Wait, I gotta Twitter that. Don't go away. Send it all you bitches a bill for looking at my cooch. But yeah, you know what? Like that kind of put me back because he's, it's somebody that I see on a regular basis at the events, and I know his girlfriend well. I like her, and he's always very friendly. And so now, now I we think know of why. him. Yes. Yeah. Now I kind of look at him a little different. Like what? The, what the fuck? Why would you do that? I, you know what? I've or should I happen. be honored? Or should I feel honored that he's like selling that? Well, I've had kind of like somewhere in the middle. I think yeah, you're kind of like I don't really know how to, how to think about yeah, that. But you I, I've actually been in this situation before many, many, many years ago, and um, because he's the one who said it first, no one is going to believe you from now on. Whether they tell you they believe you or not, they're always in the back of their mind going to go. Yeah, but he's the first one to admit that it did happen. And usually when you deny so something... So they think that I would be lying saying it didn't? Right. Now look, so the wait, best now I'm a dirty hoe. So I talk about who like, I yeah, fucked, okay? okay? Yeah, and he sucked. You know? <laughs> well, this is how I combated it. I told everyone, believe what you want to believe, but I know the truth. Well, you know, it would really piss me off if people start saying, like, believe in him and going, why are you lying about it? 
Y'all see all the people I, I mean, if I'm sucking face, I'm sucking face in the middle of the dance floor. Yeah, I ain't hiding is. this shit. Or okay? against the wall. Yeah, the I'm not hiding this shit, okay? In the bathroom. Yeah, I'll admit my dirty hoism. <laughs> yeah, like I said earlier, the, your list of knots are, is longer than your halves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, that's no not it's not true. Okay. No, okay. you guys, I'm, I'm not that. I, I it's have, like I'm not that bad. <laughs> no, I, I have a little bit of discriminating taste. Is I it mean, 50, 50, is it fifty percent? No, not seventy-five. Like, there's a forty. Few. When I walk into an event, into a dance, <laughs> there's a few in the room that. Okay, I've so when you walk in an event, you walk in an event, and you look at them, and you're like, that one I did, that one I did, want to do that one again. Do you, you want to hear a crazy story? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, you guys. No, listen. I, I bet my you there's a recovery club out there. <laughs> a recovery club. The Sweet Cheeks steps. Recovery no, Club. No, it's yeah. all the people. I was once told. Sweet my ex-husband, when we got divorced, gave me this advice, and he said, always leave them wanting more. So I think and that's why I just fuck them once and won't call them back. Or they're texting <laughs> me like that. Because I just leave them wanting more. But you guys, here's a funny story. My last m- marriage, you know, I'm working on the Elizabeth Taylor here, maybe. I, um, <laughs> I, uh. Uh, we got married in Vegas, and then we had a reception back at home. There were five men in the room that I had done at, at my wedding reception. Wow. Such a dirty whore, Blanche. Yeah. But uh. but my husband knew about it, and it was people that I you know I think that says a lot that I maintain friendships with my dirty horrorism. <laughs> <laughs> You know your friend I'm John. I'm digging a bigger fucking and fucking. I'm big, digging they, a bigger fucking hole. Do, do you give them all a list? A list of what? I don't know. You said your your ex husband knew about all of them in the room. Do you give them a list? You know your friend John, the friend Dave. You, you know, don't. Like, you know what? I don't know about you, but <laughs> like, Dick and like Harry. I re- I remember um, when my ex husband and I were. I don't know if we were still dating or engaged or whatever, but I remember us laying in bed going through the. Okay, so how many people have you fucked in your life? Mm-hmm. And him going, how many people have you fucked in your life? Mm-hmm. And trying to make a list. And I decided maybe we shouldn't talk about this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I stopped keeping a list when I hit a certain number, and I kind of have an idea what my number is, but I not. I have no idea what my number is. Freaky d- says, "But you are Blanche. You are <laughs> <laughs> dirty whore." You know what? I've I've um you know accepted my my dirty whoreism. I, I don't. You know so what? I don't <laughs> think there's anything wrong. With well, and somebody <laughs> dirty whore. Funny somebody who watched <laughs> that show the first night that that came up. Y'all calling me a dirty whore. Um, I said to this, they had listened to the show and they were texting me and I said, and by the way, I'm not a dirty whore. And he says, that's too bad. I like dirty whores. (laughs) You see, sometimes being a dirty whore just gets you further in life. (laughs) It'll at least get you laid. (laughs) Well, so I'm just trying to decide next time I see this boy, boy, how I'm going to approach him or what I got to think of something very... I would Slick. just ask him straight out. Just couldn't. I'd not be mean about it. Just be no, like, no. Hey. I wanted to think of something you know, really smart ass to say. Because <laughs> you know, next time you're at a club together, go take the mic away from the DJ and say, "Hey, <laughs> oh god, I did not sleep with that man. <laughs> I did not have sexual relations with that boy. <laughs> <laughs> no one will believe you. Oh you know, god. I would just be straight up with him. I would just go up to him and go, "Hey, I heard that you've been telling people that you tapped this ass. I would just like to tell you that if it actually happened, I don't remember." <laughs> <laughs> Must not have been so good. Sorry to tell you that, uh, but do it loudly. So yeah, so nice and loud. What well, his girlfriend standing right there? Yeah, I right don't want to hurt his girlfriend. That he's out. Bragging. I don't think I've ever had that problem, so I don't know. I don't know I don't what know. I how I would react or what. I had a period of time of there of it, where yeah. Yeah. a little bit. Uh, you know, I hope that he's saying it because it kind of makes him feel. And he's much, much younger than me. Much younger. So I don't know if he's feeling like he's accomplished something or something. I don't know. But mm-mm. if he ever was going to get it, he ain't going to get it now. Too bad. Too bad. That's Too bad. So sad. Liars don't prosper. At least not with this fat chick. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I had it happen a couple Damn, times. Damn, any other time she would have just gave it to your ass. But you fucking lied, so you're not going to get nothing now. There you go, Mama. You That's got it. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, you got to explain this to me. Wendy says, uh, so DJ says my list is not really that long. I don't think Silent Mike have ever discussed how long our list is. And what was the number you stopped counting at? 
<laughs> I don't oh, want to say. Wanna say. Okay. No. So I know Callie guy's listening. So, so, <laughs> so when did, you when guys have never had that conversation. You know later. We have not had that conversation. We I just had this, have this conversation. conversation. Yeah, last night, night before, we were talking about during our marriages, if you know, whatever we like, if we cheated on each other, whatever, yada yada yada. Like my past marriage, I was like, uh, three, including you. And then I, t- I told him the thing, and he's like, well, what about since we've been together? I and like, I'm the dirty hoe? Look, I was like, one. He's like, one besides me? I was like, no, you the one. Like, <laughs> so we just we just discussed this. It's funny. That's funny. Now, Wendy of Neverland, and explain this to me because I don't get this. It's <laughs> <laughs> Wendy of Neverland says, my list is essentially a peace sign. A peace is sign? That? Is that what that means? Or is it the peace sign with the three? No, I circle? think it's this. Is this I think that it's one? this sign. I think, yeah, I think it's this sign. Side. Wendy. I think it's the this? one who got her pregnant and the one she married. She said two. Yeah. Unless it's men. Wow. Now, is she counting women or just men? Are you counting women, Wendy, or just men? Because then her number outnumbers her fingers and toes, I think. <laughs> yep, both. Wow. Wow, Wendy. So she got one who got her pregnant and one that she married. Oh, Wendy, you're a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sad, th- the scary thing about it is, like, I went to Catholic school for twelve. <laughs> That's why you're a dirty whore, Blanche. That's why I'm a dirty whore. <laughs> We're not calling you Sweet Cheeks anymore. It's Blanche it's from now. DJ on. went to Catholic school too. I exactly. went to Catholic school for twelve years. Let me tell you, I went to mass once. What? <laughs> It's, it's uh, like exercise. I, I went to my mom. <laughs> yeah. My mom took us to Bible school to get us out of her hair for the summer when school was oh, out. Oh, Bible camp, vacation Bible school. It was Bible things. school. It was military on base. So and right next door to the church. And during lunch hour, they said you could either go to mass or you can go to lunch. And so I asked my dad because he's Catholic. I'm like, should I go to mass or should I go to lunch? He goes, well, you can try mass, but you'll be bored. And I went and I was bored. You're right. It is calisthenics. It when is. you go, I didn't understand a word that they were saying. Was it in Latin then? Yes. Oh, see. Oh. So the very By next time, day, well, that was in Italy, grade. wasn't it? That was in Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's why. But it was, it was still it was an American church. It was on the Air Force Base. By the time yeah, I the, was in second a, grade, they had stopped all the. They had gone to the new whatever, and the Latin mass was gone, except like one mass, and you had to go to that special. There was only was three in people English. in the church. <laughs> Me and two other people. That's Everybody fine. else was at lunch. I, uh, I know. And yeah. that's where I went the very next day. <laughs> oh, no. I went to Mass every morning at school, every Sunday with my family. Yeah. I heard so many stories about uh, Catholics and Catholic school. and Catholics are the biggest dirty whores ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I have to be honest with you. Like, you know, I mean, it was a great experience. I had a great education for oh, 12 yeah. years. Took piano lessons from the nuns that would snooze during my piano lesson. And <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> Um, and my niece actually is in the convent now. She's not my niece, my cousin. She's much younger than me, but she's actually becoming a nun. But um, it, it's very interesting because I never had to deal with... Now, do I know that um, the altar boys, my, my altar boy friends, they did go on camping trips with the priests. Now, I never heard any stories and I was, you know, separated from all that. So I have to say my Catholic upbringing was not bad. But then again, I don't know what might have went on when right. I wasn't around. So None of the nuns touched you in your no-no zone? No. None of the nuns touched me. And I was at the convent a lot because my parents were involved in the church. And <coughs> they had to go to the convent for piano lessons. And Do you know so how to play the piano? I do. That's awesome. I do. At least you got something. Oh, out. yeah. And... Um, and I also played the cello in the Youth Symphony Orchestra oh and was taught gosh. by a nun how to play the cello, too. So um, my Catholic upbringing, I have to say, I look on it fondly. Do I go to Catholic Church now? No. If I go home with my mom, maybe. But yeah, I prefer um, a little less traditional Christian church these I, days. I, I went a couple of times when I was with baby daddy because his family is like, his mom's at church every day, oh Catholic yeah. church. And uh, they tell you that th- their priest is a very forward-thinking priest. But I swear to God, every time I walked in there, he knew I was coming because he had a sermon directed at me for some that reason. That was not him. Time. The Holy Spirit guided him to do that because they knew you were coming. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, but I, they tell he would tell you, you know, um, if you're not Catholic, if you're just visiting with someone, you don't have to go through all the ups and downs and getting on your hands and knees and all that stuff. And I didn't. And people would look at me funny when I was in the church. They'd be like, and then I wouldn't go up and take the communion. The communion, yeah. yeah. And I was like, yeah. Sierra and I are big fans of, um, what's the name of the church? The Unitarian, Unitarian Universalist, Universalist Congregation. Yes, I have been to their services. I love their services. They, they, I've been they're to all inclusive. 
a lot of humanists, but they have uh, they use the Bible, they use the Quran, they use uh, now the Buddha. our friend Diamond D who was here. Um, she goes to it's called Infusion Church, and it is a mass people. I mean. She's not a person that could walk into a traditional church and feel comfortable. So the whole church is, it, the name is right, Infusion, because it's a lot of people that don't feel comfortable in other kind of churches. And it's it a is really Christian good app. Uh, it is Christian though. based. I've seen it those, is, yeah. yeah. But it's, uh, it's a good atmosphere for people who just want to get together. Mama's got to tell, you got to tell this story about the shoes last night, because Mama almost fell off her chair last night. It was so funny. Tell me. Well, we were at karaoke last night at the Bounty Hunter. Mm-hmm. And... One of the guys that was with us had a bucket of beer. He Your said it was bucket of beer. Yeah, it was cheaper that way because you know you get five for whatever it was and whatever. So I look at him, and you know men are always using shit to do other shit that yes. doesn't always go. This sucker <laughs> does like this, reaches down, gets his shoe, and opens. Grabs his beer. Grabs the beer and opens the fucking beer. <laughs> Mama falls shoe. off her chair. I was like, oh my God, it's shoe and it actually has, both of them have a beer, a bottle opener on the bottom of the friggin' shoe. What's it's built yes. in? Wait, what was the brand name of that shoe? Reef. Reef. What? Yes. It's built in the bottom of the shoe. He showed it to oh, us and all night long. Right every time he wanted to open his I was beer, like, did you do that off. like that? And, and not to like, mention, he has like size 14s and he's like opening it's like, his like Yeah, it's like a big ass, like, and I just thought, I was like, how did he do that? So then a little while later, he goes and gets another beer, and there was different Bottle people opener. sitting at the table from, from before, and they all went, oh, like, because he opened the friggin' beer with his shoe. <laughs> Who's gen- that was such a beer-drinking um, man that invented that. He's like, they're great for the river, and everybody's like, you know, because you're always looking for a bottle opener, and I'm Look, like, oh, my God. Fucking flip-flops. Yes. yes. They were flip-flops. Yes. They had a <laughs> bottle opener in it. Who's, what's somebody say in chat? Look, um, here is, here's a pair... The bottle opener sandals we told you about last year. They've also got a pair of sandals that's got a flask, a in, flask it? in it. Oh, hell. Oh, that's mine right that there. I need those. <laughs> those come like, bitch, what are you doing with your shoe? Hold on a minute. <laughs> Do those come in bling bling style? <laughs> can't you can't you bedazzle them for me? Yeah. I'll bedazzle them. But here's what I'm worried about. I'm worried that they wouldn't have been made for somebody my size. And I'd fill my flask. You'd be squirting and while I'd we're be walking. Playing. I'd step on my shoes and <laughs> boom, my alcohol be gone. <laughs> Explosive okay. That's what I have to worry about. <laughs> you cannot take these shoes on the airplane. I'm just telling you. <laughs> so I posted, I posted your quote. I'll admit my hoism. My hoism? What do you do when someone says they slept with you and they didn't? And uh, Brooklyn, she says on Facebook, she posts, I give them a chance to be honest about it. And if they decide to keep lying, then I junk punch them in the baby maker. <laughs> there we go, sister. <laughs> That's junk what I'm punched talking. Them in the baby junk maker. punched him in junk the baby maker. Em. I that love is that. Awesome. <laughs> what the hell's a junk punch? I love punch? that. You just you go know, grab like they're junk. Well, yeah, but they're junk. Wow. In the uh, yeah. <laughs> in the baby maker. That all all you need to know is punch in the baby maker. However you do it, just punch them there. That's all. So you see saying? I do a frog punch. You get that knuckle out and you just whack it right in there. I believe. Ah! So going back to this ge- this gadget stuff, I believe they make a bra that holds alcohol and it has a little <laughs> nipple. Yeah, somebody just told me about a bra with a pocket with the, where you can put your phone in this, but it's way over here. And because I looked it up too, but it's like way over here on the side. I'm like, that's like a side holster or you some guys, shit. They, I gotta have it. I, in the I don't. Front. I don't need that bra that holds alcohol because my titties will hold a whole bottle underneath there, and <laughs> no one will see it. <laughs> sure and the will. only one that knows is me because I hear myself going slish, slish, slish. Trust me, I mean, you're not the only one that, who knows. No, it's that noise. This right I always now. hear that noise. Yeah, the bottle. What are you noise. trying to hide? Hide your bottle in your. Oh, yeah, geez. that noise. I hear that noise. I'm like, I got to get it out of there. <laughs> She's teaching you all how to smuggle alcohol. Now, look. No oh, one ever knows shit. I'm smuggling that into the club. Wow. And you See? get booby lift. And <laughs> I could go swish, 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 swish. <laughs> But yeah, you know and then you need some ice quickly. There. You know she's got a bottle in there because every time she leans over, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the bottle's full of rum, nobody knows. <laughs> but that bottle isn't full of rum for very long. I do right. not advocate sneaking alcohol into anything. Except I'm sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my grandmother taught my 16-year-old sister how to smuggle alcohol across the border. <laughs> All righty then. Well then. In her diaper. I love your grandma. We're like yeah. the mafioso in here. We Shit. Are. Yeah, 
<laughs> we can do it. My grandmother is hilarious. No, I can't. I can't hide no guns. Well, she I guess just. Uh, she just turned eighty. My sister just got back from her birthday. No one's gonna arrest me. Jesus. <laughs> Silent oh. Mike. Silent Mike is always pr- trying to protect us. I know, but no one's gonna arrest. So me. I'm I'm on Facebook, right, to monitor stuff, and um, <laughs> I have my chat on because it automatically fucking comes on. You can turn you it can off. Turn you know. it off. I'm going to turn it off. But before I realize that it was on, I get a message from somebody that says, "Hey." Hi. So I text back, hey, in show, can't talk. I get a little thing back. It says, why? (laughs) (laughs) Wow, idiot. I'm turning off the chat now. (laughs) Well, I had this one guy, same thing on my uh, my Sweet Cheeks page. I was on it. And he comes on and goes, you very pussy. (laughs) Oh, nice. He's trying to say pretty. Okay. No, no, I don't think. No, 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 he did. Because in the course of the whole thing, I went to say, it's pretty, not pussy. Oh, Sorry. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god <laughs> mm. I had something like that happen on FitLife not too long ago Somebody sent me a message about something I am so sure that we could get so many stories You know, um, I was going through um, Platinum from BBW Fan Fest Platinum Pussy's uh, profile And she posts, she takes screenshots of some of these idiots And what they post on her page or comment or whatever And she will repost them on her page to yeah, show everybody I need to do that How crazy some these guys, guys saying, are Will you sit on my face? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you're in Egypt. That's kind of hard to do long distance. <laughs> my okay? ass is big, but it's not that big. Yeah. Will you sit on my face? Oh, too I Will like, you pay for I my like, ticket to Mumbai? I like you sit yes. on face. I like you sit on face. <laughs> Look, if they're willing to pay for your ticket and transit fees to get out no, there. No, they could come here and still pay me, okay? Because I right, don't want to go to fucking Dubai just to sit on somebody's fucking face, okay? Well, th- isn't <sighs> That's like Americanized, though, isn't it? Isn't Dubai Americanized, like whatever? It's very westernized, yeah. Yeah, that's because every phone center in the world is in Dubai. (laughs) No, that's New Delhi. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, come again, different Middle Eastern. Although that's Asian. Damn, weren't you just on the other customer service line I called? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No, my favorite is when you call and they're like, hello, my name is Peter. No, it's not. Your name is fucking Gupta. I know it is. <laughs> well, the big thing is l- y- y- right, for my job. Chief. My job, you know, I get a lot of calls. People wanting to sell advertising. Everybody never sell selling Google AdWord, and I always say to them, "What country are you in?" And I don't care how strong their accent is. It's always Canada. We in Canada. Wow. Yeah. And I and I know damn well they're not in Canada. No. Well, they might be. They might have a good. I don't care. You know, my answer <laughs> is we only do business with you people in the United States. So <laughs> don't call back. Oh, Canada. We're and I just want to your like ass in the Olympics. We're kicking almost everybody's ass. We are kicking everyone's ass. Except okay, the are, Olympics? We now, are we now leading the Olympics? We were. Oh, I've we seen it today. We are ahead in 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 medals by one over the Chinese, Chinese, and we are ahead in gold medals by one. They have more silver medals, but we have more gold and bronze than them. I I appreciate the Olympics, but that being said, <laughs> by them being in London. And DJ gets up early for work. So he's up at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. This fucker turns on the Olympics. <laughs> and that would be okay if he just sat there and watched them. Oh, he's got to yell at him. But all of a sudden, these motherfuckers <coughs> make a goal. And he's like, yes! <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> and he wakes me up out of my sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning because they scored. <laughs> That's what the DVR And then he's like, oh, scored. sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Like, oh, watch he, it in the other room. He watches it in the bedroom. Yes! <laughs> yes. Why does and he go into the living room? I don't know. Well, he does after he wakes her up the first time. Right. No, he doesn't. He's still there. Yeah, just keep a basket. And da- Silent Mike says keep a basket full of shoes. I'm going to get a bat. bat. <laughs> a bat. I got the perfect one. It's a mini Louie. It's about that big. Solid I'm just ash. Like, I would be okay with, you know, the Olympics and him watching it and all that stuff. But it's like when he gets excited when they score, that's the part that well, bothers me. The other night I fell asleep in bed to the Olympic channel on. So I woke up at about three or four in the morning and I had already heard that our little Gabby won her gold medal, mm-hmm. which was wonderful. And um, for the all around um, in gymnastics. So I woke up like three or four, which I always do. And I look up at the TV just in time to see her do her little performance and win her medal. Cause I, had I, wanna qu- I wanna ask a question about this. Uh-huh. About her. Speaking of her, what 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 is the big deal about her hair? What what are they? What I, I I keep seeing something about her hair, and I don't get what what is it that they're trying to say? 
they were talking about that the other day, and I don't know if the issue is that she's a black girl that tries to straighten her hair and pull it back in a ponytail like the white girls. But that that's not like the white girls. That's like the other gymnasts. Right. Okay, so I, I don't know. So what, a lot of people do that nowadays and straighten their hair and do stuff and, and, and pull their hair back in a ponytail. All the little gymnast girls' hair is, is jacked up or in a ponytail a or it's got a hundred clips in it. Well, I, I don't understand Who's what the problem is. making a big deal? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's all, all over, over the everywhere. And I, and I just I miss Facebook. part of it, like what exactly they're trying to say about her hair. I don't Somebody know. Somebody Google it. Or I'll Google it. Ga- Gabby's, um, Gabby's hair. Gabby's hair. We're on camera if you're okay with that. Okay. We're, we're, she was starting to run. Look at her. Oh, God. Stop. Alexia. Or Alexia. Alexia. Yeah. That's all right. Gabby. So, um, though, I, I don't have TV at home. So, I usually get my updates online of who's doing what and when, and I'll watch I video clips if there are nuts. any. How do you do that? I would go crazy. Uh, Netflix. Okay. Hulu. And uh, see, Red I Box. watch too much CNN.com live. <laughs> and and I now there's a there's a bunch of there's Crackle TV and a bunch of other places now too. So, so I have I you know anyway. But I was at my mom's this Thursday and I got to see the uh, what's the one where there's like 15 of them in a boat. Oh, the, the uh, rowing, r- rowing, rowing, yeah. mm-hmm. women's yes. rowing, Which and of course the USA won by like almost a full boat length. Because right? we're badass. And um and. They all go up to get their. Uh, they all go up there to get their uh, their medal, and they all look exactly alike. They're all blonde hair, blue eyed, Nordic white girls. That's be- beautiful. Yeah, but I was like, they need a little black girl on there. That would be awesome, or an Asian. <laughs> yeah, that's because the white, the Asian girls and the black girls are busy winning gold medals in gymnastics. <laughs> but Gabby was the f- she's the first, first African American to win the all round. I know that's awesome, and the first American to win both the all round and the all uh, the team um, one. So she was flawless. Did you see? How, I mean, this w- little girl got some strength. I get to see little bits. Yeah, of pieces, she's yeah. got some strength. That little girl, she was wonderful. Um. Stop Should clicking. we mention the shooting today in Wisconsin? And we never did mention the one um, in, Colorado. in Colorado. So I think we just should say all our wishes and thoughts go out to these people with these crazy nuts that are, God, why do they feel the need to shoot somebody? It tears me up. I don't know. So we don't know what happened with this one today. They did. The shooter is dead today. So chances are we may never know what happened. Right. But oh, we still don't know what happened with the... Uh What's no, except yeah. he's trying to be Carrot Top or something, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting I'm so color. excited I got a new trial, you guys, but they won't allow cameras in the courtroom. Oh. Drew Peterson. Do you remember that story? The one whose fourth wife came up missing, so they dug up the third wife to see if she was really, <laughs> like, it was really an accident. Then they decided that after the third wife was dug up, it was really a homicide, so he's being charged for the third wife's death, but they still can't find the fourth wife. Wow. Yeah, so. I'm You're listening it. to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on Vegas All Net Radio. We're about to go to a commercial. We'll be right back. Treat yourself to some afternoon delight on VegasAllNetRadio.com with Nights Over Las Vegas and The Commander. Playing music everybody knows and loves. Nights Over Las Vegas, replaying every weekday at noon on VegasAllNetRadio.com or download an archive to listen at your pleasure. Oh my God, Bernice, did you hear? Did your son come home and tell you about that damn show that my daughter just told me about? Yes, he did. And I am very shocked. Very shocked, I tell you. Are you you appalled? I became a little verklempt. I couldn't believe it. Can you believe they're going to have that smut on for three hours every Sunday? Sunday. But you know what? Between you and I, I listen to the show. I really like it. Well, I've got to admit that I have occasionally tuned in from 7 to 10 Sunday nights. But you know, I tune in at SinCityBounty.com and actually watch them. Have you seen some of the things they do in that studio? The boobies on these girls. 
with the Bubby's. cleavage. I, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. That sweet cheeks has an ass that could go for days. I'm jealous. My husband, Maurice, he loves it. And that one girl, what's her name? Calypso. And oh, I just with- love her. I love Calypso. Well, I think we should keep it between the two of us. Don't let the kids know we listen to the show because I personally, I think I like it. I like it too. The Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City. Find us at SinCityBounty.com. Use a new condom every time you have sex, from start to finish. Open the package carefully. Squeeze the tip and unroll it all the way down before you start. With latex condoms, consider using lubricants like KY Jelly or Aqua Glide. But don't use products like body lotions, oils, or Vaseline. Afterwards, remove the condom carefully. And to avoid spilling, hold the rim and remove the condom while still erect. Take a bow. You deserve it. Remember, condoms should be used consistently and correctly to prevent STDs, HIV, and pregnancy. So make sure you always come prepared. Hey you, this is Vince here on the Talk with Vince show where no subject is off the table. We'll explore the depths of your mind. Spirituality, we talk it. Enlightenment, we talk it. Politics, we talk that too. Ufology, you want it, you got it. Conspiracy facts, we're on it. Sex, we talk it. So join me every Saturday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. for Talk with Vince here on VegasAllNetRadio.com. Talk that will blow your mind. Listening to the award winning Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on VegasAllNetRadio.com, the final frontier of free speech. Our BBW Fan Fest 2012 award is in front of you if you are viewing us on Ustream. Here which, we are. Which, which all you have to do be. is go to SinCityBounty.com and you can uh, see us live. Um, if you sign in to uh, Ustream, make an account, you can also chat with us live. Uh, speaking of a chat with us live, we have. In our chat room, Diamond Dave, Yay. DJ's Carpet, Hi, me. Oh, sorry. She's like me. Freaky Freakerina. Freaky. Freaky. We love her. I can say Freakerina now. And of course, Wendy of Neverland. Wendy. And I'm sure we will be joined by our fabulous Vendetta. Vendetta. Later on yeah, we got to get him to write us a new song. Yeah, we need a new song. Dirty Ho, Vendetta. We need a Dirty Ho <laughs> song. But you are, Blanche. You are. <laughs> So you guys can see, we have Calypso in the house. And then over back here in the corner, if you can see, we have uh, a Dairy Lynn, who just started a new show over on our sister station, KLAV, called The Next Big Star. The Next Big Star. Oh, I need to be on that show. <laughs> you already are a big star. <laughs> and uh, uh, the, the KLAV is a clean station, so make sure that none I of your I songs can't You can't that go show. on that show. <laughs> Whoops. We've tried putting her on a KLAV show. Ryan just about hard on Never let us out, let me on it again. <laughs> Poor Ryan aged about 12 years when she did that. Yes, he did. You know, here's what I want to know, okay? Last week we had Mr. Free on, and he's like, not free on, free on. <laughs> <laughs> free, and free, free on. Free Mr. is a below the comic agent. book yes, artist. He was, he was the delightful, and, he, and we, he's going to come back on because we didn't talk about sex while he was on. Yes, he, he was very disappointed. And, and then our friend here um, comes in, and she says, where's the sex? So, like, is that just what we're known for? Yes. yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, um, uh, Diamond Dave says, yay, finally, I missed her potty mouth. <gasps> Would that be my potty mouth, Dave? Would that be this one right here? Uh, and w- Wendy of Neverland says, oh, my God, Calypso's hair is so cute. Oh, you guys like it? It's very, very, very short. This is an accidental haircut. Oh. <laughs> Who messed up? <laughs> I can't divulge any names, <laughs> but it was a big accident. It's cute though. When I said a half an inch, they mistook that for three. Wow. And, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Half doesn't sound anything like three. Thank you. I know that. <laughs> I know that. And then the, the, all the layers had to get cleaned up because this side was like over here and this side was up here. Was it a trainee? No, <laughs> it wasn't. It was that's a, why I was it so was shocked. A guy, it they, w- always, they lie. They always say they have, you know, eight and they have like two. See, that's. <laughs> um, 
it was a woman. Maybe she's. I don't know. Maybe she's like. Maybe I don't know. A, a, a lesbian jealous. with like male tendencies oh, she or something. Was like she can't tell so the She wanted you to look ugly. So she I don't. To chop well, you, you know what, well, girl? I had two people fix this, and now it's not half bad. So I'm like, all right. She failed miserably because you look adorable. Thank it does. you. It's it's very pixie ish. It's ugh. so you know me. This is like really short. But as long as you wait, know, wait, wait. You're a fan of Disney, though. So pixie. I is am, good. But, but not on my That's head, not honey. Short, though. It's it feels old. very short. Well, as long as there's enough to be grabbed, you know, I'm still. Good. Yeah, good. So I just missed the days when it was long down to her ass, wavy and blonde like golden straw. No. Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. fucking yeah. kidding me? No way. Yeah. Really? yeah. Oh yeah. What? And when I walked in the room and I had highlights because my hair and the hair's naturally very light. So when I'd walk in the room, I wasn't allowed to go past the threshold without going like this. Golden. And then I could walk in. Golden as if Rumpelstiltskin himself weaved it. Weaved it mm. out wow. of the spinning. Yeah. It was beautiful. I was very wow. fairy taleish back then. Wendy, Wendy says adorable, and I hope Thanks, I got Wendy. the inflection right when I said, "Oh my god, it's so cute!" <laughs> <laughs> Do we have somebody on hold? Uh, yes, yes. As a matter of fact, <laughs> we um, we got to be the proud judges of the door prizes for the uh, contest, the Kissathon, Kissathon for contest for PDA Nation, right? For PDA Nation, and Ooh. we have on the phone Doctor Pet. Uh, is it Dr. Patty Thomas? I will always... W- I'm... Fuck it. I'm calling you Dr. Patty Thomas. <laughs> she said fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> because in my mind, you should be Dr. Patty Thomas. Hi, Patty. How are you? I'm doing all right. I am a doctor. Yes. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want to call you Dr. Patty Thomas. We had a time. great time, Patty, judging these photos. Oh, we, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, uh, it was so much fun. <laughs> it almost came to fist to cuff, so... Yeah, there was a couple we had, uh, had, couple. We had yeah. to discuss... There was a couple unanimous ones, but we did have few discussions. And so we, we gave you our three winners, uh, the ones that you had categories for, but we have a couple of mentions that we want to mention as well. So um, let's talk about uh, the contest a little bit first, uh, what the prizes are, and then we can announce the winners. Okay, and is it okay if I tell you who the other prizes and winners are as well? Oh, oh yes, yes, by all yes. means. Cool. Uh, first, I want to deem it a success because we raised four hundred and sixty-five dollars. Yay! Yay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. That is a lot more than I thought we were going to. So I'm very happy with that. Most of it was raised yesterday, so it was a very last-minute thing. Yesterday was a lot of fun. We had thirty-four pictures with twenty-two contestants. Several people contributed more than one picture. And 47 people overall gave us money, so that was quite nice. That averaged out to about $10 a person. Wow, so great job. That was, that was really nice. And we've given away a whole bunch of prizes, so I'll do this very quickly. Um, we had a prize for first person to raise $50. That went to Cindy Geyser. She raised $50 at about the third or fourth day of the Kissathon. Which picture is hers? Fat Chick Works Out, uh, the book and the DVD, uh, Jean DePatty, Jeanette DePatty uh, book and uh, DVD. So she won that. We gave away the four top. I'm sorry? Go ahead. Oh, I'm echoing. That's what's going on. Um, the four uh, top fundraisers are as follows. Uh, the person who raised the most money was Cindy Baker. Uh, she and her uh, wife had that really pretty pink. Um, if you go on the uh, Kisses On uh, Pinterest, you can see it. They're really gorgeous. Their wedding picture. It's and that's the one that raised the most money. Number 32. So she won $50 gift certificate for More Me to Love. Yay! Nice. Raised $128.61. Now, I want you to hear that because second place was Cindy Lou Geyser, and she raised $127.83. Wow. So wow. First and second place was less than $0.80. Cents. Wow. Wow. That's and awesome. And second place, a $25 gift card to More Me to Love store. Leslie Owen, the other doctor, Dr. Liz. Uh, one third place, she raised $51.63, and she won Fat Sex, The Naked Truth. Nice. Not a copy from um, Rebecca, who was on your show a couple weeks ago, or about four weeks ago, I guess now. And uh, also, People of Size, Rebecca's website, helped sponsor that. And then fourth place went to Jeanette DePatty, 
to raise fifty dollars and ninety nine cents. So again, very very um, little difference between third and fourth place. And Jeanette only had one vote until the last hour last night. <laughs> <laughs> out of <laughs> She pulled out of the back and took over fourth place, like, in the last 20 minutes of the kids. Wow. Of so she won a T-shirt from Big World Wear, bigworldwear.com. Awesome. Then we also had a $300 challenge. We issued a challenge at the 60-hour mark. If we raised $300 or more and people gave $10, uh, they qualified to get a special copy of our book, Taking Up Space. Profound Press is putting it out. It's a PDF copy, and I'll have a special edition uh, preface in it. And 15 people won that. So 15 people either raised more than $10 or gave more than $10. A contributor could win that as well. So we had 15 total people win that. And then at four hours to go last night, we issued a $400 challenge because we had made the $300 challenge. And I want to go, I also want to mention that there was an anonymous donor who matched funds. She, um, she or he put in $50 matching funds. That's awesome. Thank so you. So anonymous donors uh, matched, got matched within an hour of, of laying down that challenge. So that was a lot of fun, too. And, um, and then when we got, you know, close to 400 at about the four-hour mark, we issued another challenge, and the last uh, four people who gave $5 or more got a body piece bumper sticker. That's body piece as in making peace with your body. Yes, as opposed uh, to body pieces of a serial killer. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> I just realized that doesn't translate over the radio as well as the <laughs> And, and that's one of our designs. That's uh, Industry City uh, put the bumper stickers up. So we had four people who met the four hundred dollar challenge and contributed more than five dollars in the last uh, four hours. Then we had a raffle for all, everybody that gave uh, one vote got a um, got an entry into the raffle. So per vote, so if you gave ten dollars, up to like ten votes, ten votes. So you ended up with 10 tickets in the raffle. And so the winner, the overall winner for that was Lori Owen, Leslie's sister, and she got a $25 gift card for more me to love. Nice. And that gets us down to the fun part, which is the ones you judged. Yay! We had so much fun looking through all these pictures, and there was some tugging of war going on with ones that we liked, but we came to a consensus. There was a few that were unanimous. Yes. Yes. There was a couple. So you go ahead and you, you'll announce them and then we can discuss them a little. Okay, that's good. We had three door prizes for most passionate kiss. Warm Me to Love is giving, uh, these are all booty parlor products, I think. Um, Don't Stop Massage Oil by Booty Parlor. And mm. Warm Me to Love is going to be giving this. And the winner is Ducky Graham, picture number 10. And... That um, I know that the pic- that that picture struck um, a couple of us by the black and white uh, artistic nature of it. Yes, and that's her, um, that was her wedding kiss. I was going more for the Aerosmith "Love in an Elevator" kind of. <laughs> 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 well, it would have been ducky either way, then, right? Right, exactly. Right. But we do want a special mention. Uh, there was one that we wanted to special mention, and that was uh, Matthew kissing Leroy, uh, contestant number twelve. Because you know, unless you click on the picture in Pinterest, you don't get the big version. And in the big version, you can see him grabbing the tie, which is my favorite you know part right there. That part. <laughs> so that gets a very high honorable mention, um, right. right under the elevator picture for right. us. So right. that we 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 toss that one around back and forth to make that decision. It was a heated discussion. Yes. So. Yeah, the second the second door prize I got here is for the sweetest kiss, and that went to Dina Giovanelli with her son, and that was an adorable kiss. And now I'm so excited you guys picked her because she was trying to gender vote so that he could say he won mommy something. So you Aww. guys, Aww. <laughs> it was possible for him to say he won his mommy a prize. Yes. 
we yeah, that, that was, was unanimous, unanimous. <laughs> yeah. that was the unanimous vote we were like oh my god it's so cute yeah she's fun to watch on facebook because she talks about him every once in a while he's quite a character he's only four years old so i'm really excited that you guys like that picture <laughs> And then the last one is the silliest kiss, which got a booty parlor uh, prize called Tickle Me Intimacy Kit, also from Love Me to Love. And that was Jennifer Jonathan with her fiancé and the clown makeup. Yeah, yeah, we just couldn't. The noses did it for us. That was it. It was the clown noses. Yeah, it was. It, it has it nothing to do with the fact that we love Jennifer Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> but that is so Jennifer in that picture, though, it with is, the yeah. nose. Yeah. It, it is. is. Very Jennifer. I love that picture when it came in. So, um, go ahead. Um, the only other special mention we had, and we didn't know what to categorize it, but the, you mentioned it earlier, and that is uh, the wedding of Cindy and Megan with the beautiful pink and oranges. That picture was just so pretty. You know, when yes, I first beautiful. looked at it, I thought it was like a cartoon rendition of somebody until I looked closer and realized, like, this is a real photo. This is very cool. Yeah, it's very it's beautiful. That- it's beautiful. I know. That wedding must have been so much fun to go to, didn't you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think you needed a, a most, more, most artistic category. That's what that one would have gone under. Yeah. Well, that was the, definitely the most popular picture. There were uh, quite a few people who voted for it. And, um, you know, it was it, it won first prize. So. Right. Oh yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. We, we just it wouldn't fit into the, any of the categories that we had because it, it wasn't silly. It's kind of sweet. It's kind of passionate. But there were others that were more sweet and more passionate. So yeah, yeah I like the idea of most artistic. So yeah. Well, guys, you have been wonderful. Thank you for supporting us and helping us. And we're going to be putting all the pictures up on the Kissathon website on our user friendly Vegas website. And we'll also put a link up there so if somebody missed a chance to vote, they can still contribute to the user-friendly Vegas project because the on, the larger fundraising project is still ongoing, and we may even do another contest or two as we're raising money for the film. So, And we're, but, we're a big supporter of what you're doing, yes. Dr. Patty. So please keep us in the loop, and we would love to be involved in... Uh, promoting this because I think it's a really important message you got going on out there. So please keep us informed. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it, and we will definitely keep you in the loop. Yay! Awesome. That was fun. We like doing that. Yes. Let us do more stuff like that. <laughs> it well, makes us feel important. We have ideas for a contest, and I say that with a little trepidation with you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Please let me know because we're willing to do this again. I think that we could. Uh, this is a lot of fun, and it's a lot more fun than just going. Please give us money. You know? <laughs> right? No, it's a lot more fun. <laughs> it's great. All right. Well, it was good talking to you, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Oh, oh, fun! That was I love fun. her. I I am like I love what they're trying to do. Uh, yeah. she, she, she's been working for years um, as an activist and uh, on um, on all sectors. It's yeah. not just fativism. She no. user friendly is about handicapped people, disabled yeah. people, handicapped. Sorry, handicapable. Whatever. Would you be politically <laughs> fucking correct? <laughs> no, <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Don't smack me. <laughs> not unless you mean it. Silent Mike. We could like tag team, or you smack and I smack, and we'll do the Charlotte and DJ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Mama, <laughs> whatever. Uh, Wendy, <laughs> Wendy says that she picked up a copy of Fat Sex: The Naked Truth. Maybe you could do a review for us, uh, Wendy, of the book. Yeah, read that it. That would be great. Fat Sex: the, Does it give you like tips? <laughs> <laughs> you, don't Vendetta, you don't need any. Vendetta is on the air. Vendetta. I, Vendetta. I have a very special request for you that only you could possibly fulfill. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> But you are, Blanche, you are. Vendetta, I need a song written called Dirty Ho. <laughs> Shit. But Dirty, take your, you'll, you'll have it in 20 minutes. Take Dirty your time. Whore. Take yeah. your time. Yeah, take Remember your time. who you're talking about in the song, okay? It like Dirty Whore. It's, it won't fly. be hard. But it won't know, be hard. 
The first song he ever wrote about you, it talks about you're an angel from heaven, <laughs> right. ascending from the skies. Here's what I want to know. Thighs. I want to know what kind of what kind of song he's gonna write me after he comes visits. Right? <laughs> oh no. Woman who broke the dirty hoe, fuck me once and wouldn't call me. No. no no no. The song that he will write after he visits will be a country song. He lost his car, he lost his heart, he lost his dog. <laughs> All because of some dirty whore in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> dirty how? Dirty, dirty how? whore. So, all right. Um, we've got a, f- a little bit of time before we have to go to bake. We've got about five minutes before we take our break, and then we are going to be talking to Cotton Candy. Yay. Unfortunately, Cotton Candy was in an auto accident. <gasps> so oh, she no. will not be in studio, but she will be on the phone. Dave, I am so sorry. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Dude, his bo- I heard his boner drop. I know. <laughs> It, it dropped. It went <laughs> boom. Bonk. Yeah, Dave was having a hard night tonight. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Not kind of softened up. <laughs> uh, oh, Lordy. Uh, you know what? I have to say that happy birthday to our president. Yes. Yesterday, oh, yeah, this is president. yesterday was uh, President Obama's uh, 51st birthday. 51? 51. No. Damn, that man looks good for 51. He's starting to get gray around the edges. Wait a minute, dog, but no, that's because he's coming up on the end of his first term. Right? Have you <laughs> seen pictures? I mean, even Clinton yeah. and Bush and all of them from the time they start to the time they end. Ooh, baby, they need some grease the and formula pres- series. Yeah. Man. the president just for men. The the presidency is not kind to the men who men and well, hopefully I mean, one day women. Shit! If one of us was president, could you just see we'd be having like cases of color brought into the White House and shit like every oh, hell four no. weeks? Yeah, I would never be seen in the in the. Um, yeah, but you know on how the double camera. standard is. Men, it's distinguished. You're Us, right. it's your roots are showing. Well, <laughs> you I don't know. know. Character. That depends. Character. Um, Paula, I think Paula Dean carries her gray hair well. Some yes. people do it really, really well. I will never know if I could carry it well. <laughs> 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 it's never you don't want to test the, okay? the waters? <laughs> oh, hell fucking no. I wouldn't. Are you kidding? Half gray, half red. Oh, that would be. As I'd have to hide in my house for months. As soon as I start seeing so much that I can't call it blonde, then I'm just going to. Just let it You've go. You've decided oh, to let it go gracefully. You know what? Yeah. The thought of that for me makes my heart palpitate. Really? <laughs> yeah. You know, I, yes. I would like it. To, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna let the gray come in. I, I would love to have a streak is what I would have. Like to have. You could totally put a streak Girls, in. Girls, I, I, I got to tell you, like, like, see, I am not playing when I tell you the thought of going gray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I, I, I look at you girls and I go, pill. no, like, I really like, I go, wow, they could really do that because I so can't. <laughs> That's what DJ wow. keeps telling me in his I little so goatee. Can. He keeps saying, look at it from being out in the sun. It's like getting, I'm getting a lot of blonde highlights. I, I mean, said, no, honey, I see great. my mother and she's 70 and I go, can we fucking go to the store and buy the hair dye? Because you're really way too white. Wow. Yeah, I'm so bad. Like Just grayer up a bit. No, I, I darker up a bit because she's got <laughs> too much gray naturally. Vendetta says... I'm not just happy, but oh my God, Calypso is back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, my God. oh Vendetta. Oh my God. <laughs> my sweet Vendetta. I oh. would ruin you. I uh, plan to. <laughs> right? <laughs> Tear it up. You might want to bring some ibuprofen and a case of condoms, brother, because you're going to need it. I, I got the ibuprofen covered for you, honey. Hey, you, I can, I, you know what? Kelly and I will hit the Costco before he leaves. We'll grab you a case of condoms. Yeah. That is a giant <laughs> box. Wait, wait, wait. I want to know. Vendetta, what size condoms do we need to buy? Magnum. Canadian. 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 <laughs> Canadian. Magnum, <laughs> Magnum. Or somewhere in between. Lie and say Magnum, bitch, you're on the air. <laughs> no, because I don't want the bitches to be too big and start falling off and shit. She don't want no vendetta babies. You know, I posted that shit the other day about Magnum. And I meant the ice cream because I tried one of the, like, caramel, like, How it's like it? double. It's, oh. Good. I need a moment of silence. I don't think I, <laughs> I, I was that <laughs> but good. But, yeah, it's, like, really good. And all I said was Magnum dot dot dot. And I had so many responses. Condoms, ice cream, which one? Oh, yummy. What? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. And I was like, wow. I said one word. Come on now. Really? Sometimes those are the best posts. Sometimes they are. Those are the no, best No, Mama posts. posts this morning. 
biscuits and gravy and scrambled eggs for breakfast. I said, <laughs> what parts of scrambled eggs? Because we know what the biscuits, we know and, gravy what the biscuits and gravy is. I should have took, I should have, you know what, for future reference, I will take photos. <laughs> of your biscuits and gravy and put them on Facebook. Yay! Didn't we just have a discussion about whether or not we should group. be putting The real stuff? food group. No, wait, wait. Oh. Did you post this on oh. your regular Facebook or did you post it on your new Facebook? On my regular one. Okay, so let every, let's let let everybody know what your new Facebook is. Uh, my new one is Lorraine. Is something? Mama Lorraine. Mama, Mama Lorraine, and then slash Charlotte. Yeah, I'll put a link up on the Courageous Bounty page so you can go like Charlotte. That's my one. You can post nasty stuff and on poke it. her a lot so she yeah. posts more stuff there. Yeah, I'm getting better. <laughs> Sweet Cheeks is of course uh, Sweet Cheeks Vegas on Facebook. Sierra McInnes, who is never on Facebook. Never on never. Facebook. <laughs> I, I will occasionally post stuff. And if uh, it really tickles my I'm fancy. I'm a Facebook fucking junkie, so you can find I me forgot there. what mine is for Cal- my page. Calypso LaRue. No, no, no. I mean, I forgot how to sign in on oh. it. So there's all sorts of shit on there that I haven't seen in forever. <laughs> and of oh. course, I'm Alexia, but all of you guys are friends with me, and I post all the time. So there you go. There we go. Yes. And everybody, go to SinCityBounty.com to see um, updates from us and to send us messages via And I believe the Silent, email. Silent Mike linked us all in there somehow or another, and you can like... Let's try find some way or another. Silent Mike Action Thrash is also on Facebook. When we we are revamping our site, and when we do, maybe we can put our Facebook and Twitter links if we have. Them. It'll be on our profile pages. Yeah, on our profile. Yeah, pages, our profile so. pages are going to be changing, and there's going to be a lot more links. Can I put dirty pictures on my profile? Yes. No. She's <laughs> <laughs> Mama Bear, Mama Bear over here says no. And, and the Sierra, who does says the webmaster, says yes. yes. So I need a consensus here. Can I put There's some a back door. Let dirty Let hole pictures on the site? A back Let door. us go through the terms of service of our website host, please. Silent They're artistic photographs. Big Daddy Silent Mike is like, no. Yeah, yeah. Big Daddy's telling me. But we me, can uh-oh. link it to every single movie you have out there on the web. Google me. Oh, oh goodness. Sweet cheeks, Google me. But you are, Blanche. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's proof. <laughs> <laughs> I told, here's a funny story. Jessica <laughs> Vegas and I were in the gas station last night, okay? Oh, Lord. And for so, and the guy at the counter was so slow, and there's people lined up. And this girl was, I don't know if she was drunk or not, but she was a very beautiful girl. And she's like, he's just so slow because he's taking on all the loveliness of all of us standing here in line. And she says, we should all make a movie. And Jessica Vegas looked at me and just like died. She's <laughs> laughing. And I go, hmm, been there, done that. And the girl goes, hmm, thought so. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I thought you looked familiar. Oh. I've seen your playground. <laughs> <laughs> Rest don't grow on a playground, bitches. That's right. Too funny. Yeah. All right, okay. let's go to break. You are listening to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on VegasAllNetRadio.com. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm DJ Tim Dope. Come join us every Saturday night at 6 p.m. PDT, 9 p.m. EDT for my new show, Pure Dope Radio, here on Vegas All Net Radio. We'll be having fun addressing your issues with special guests each week. So I'll see you at 6 p.m. PDT, 9 p.m. EDT, Saturday, on the show, Pure Dope Radio, on Vegas All Net Radio. Hey, Luis, where are we going today? Dude, I just heard about this great place called the Geek Lounge. The Greek Lounge? But I'm not really into lamb or slifaki. No, man, not the Greek Lounge. The Geek Lounge. The Geek Lounge? What's that? Yeah, dude, it's your one-stop shop for talk about everything from movies, video games, comic books, TV shows, manga, and anime. Wow, when does all this happen? It's every Sunday at 4 p.m. on VegasAllNetRadio.com. Oh, man, it's almost time. We better hurry. You're right. Don't forget, that's the Geek Lounge, Sundays at 4 p.m. on VegasAllNetRadio.com. This is Sierra from the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City, urging you to adopt, not shop. There are hundreds of thousands of animals out there looking for homes, and you could be their next forever home. Visit your local animal shelter today to find your next family member. Deduction, tax deduction, sin inspectors, bill collectors, cyclones, in the name, population, all of them. Suicide, too many bills, people all over the world are shouting in the war. And the band played, it's so cool. 
October. Every Thursday afternoon at 3 on VegasAllNetRadio.com. And on the third Thursday of the month at 3, right here on KLAV. Yes, this is Sir, and I approve this commercial. Yeah. Hey, this is Calypso from the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City. Listen to the girls and I say whatever the hell we want every Sunday now from 7 to 10 p.m. We talk about dating, love, sex, and so much more. That's right. Season three, three hours. I know what you must be thinking. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Awesome. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Visit us at SinCityBounty.com. Welcome back to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on Vegas. AllNetRadio.com for your audio listening pleasure or SinCityBounty.com for your visual listening pleasure. (laughs) Either one are used for your physical listening pleasure. That's right. Physical listening. You can touch yourself while you listen to us. That's what the physical part was. And if you (gasps) go to Fleshlight.com forward slash Kelly Shabari, you can buy a fat pussy to fuck while you watch the show. That's right. We love Kelly Shabari. I I got to finger her pussy for three whole days. It was awesome. <laughs> Speaking of... Uh, imagine the messages are going to come in now. <laughs> um, f- for those of you who uh, follow our, our Curvaceous Bounty Facebook page, I just posted a link to BBW Fan Fest 2013. 2013. Dates for it has been posted. You can just go to our page or, or just type in BBW Fan Fest uh, 2013 and um, you'll be able to find out when that is. I believe it's uh, the first week in July, July 11th to the 13th or something like that. And next year there'll be two of them sitting right there and one will say 12 and one will say 13. And That's I got to right. tell you last night, the PLP <laughs> in her little bit drunken state, she said, I, I want to be in the motorboat booth. I have big boobs. <laughs> I said, PLP, you get a shift in the motorboat booth. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. We decided during our broadcast at BBW Fan Fest that next year, because of all the boobage that was at BBW Fan Fest, we are going to, for charity, have a motorboat booth, and we're going to get some of the models, hopefully, volunteer their time. And some of our show people, there. like the PLP. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and um, come, and you can go motorboat for a, fee. For a, f- for a dollar. Well, You'll be like able to. Booth. I'm in the motorboat booth. You in the motorboat booth? I'm in the motorboat booth. Um, Lexi, are you in the motorboat booth? No. I didn't think so. I'll collect the money. Mama, you in the motorboat booth? I didn't got much to motorboat, but I'll do it. <laughs> Some men like them small like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not like they're like small. As long as they don't slobber Wait, on I was me. getting motorboated for free <laughs> at the bash, so I might as well earn some money uh, for charity. I am hoping that we'll get um, uh, Miss P. Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Lexi Lux. Lexi Lux. And maybe we can get Lexi will do it. I'll tell you who else will help us out. Our voluptuous entertainment girls, oh, Daisy Cakes yes. and Kitty Spanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. They will help us with the uh, motorboat. So we will they have sure will. plenty of motorboating for your entertainment. Bring your dollar bills oh, for I'm charity. Getting, oh, I'm getting Desiree Divine in there too. Oh, she will mm-hmm. do it too. If mm-hmm. we can stop Ooh, her hey, from should we, should Amazon we a, Amanda. Should we do a thing like how they just did with the kissing thing and have votes on who should be in the booth? Ooh. And like make them like don't. We'll have like to that? talk. We'll have that'd to talk to the cool. girls first, of course. But we'll have a lot cool. of hours to fill motorboat, and so um, yeah, sure will. Yeah, so we'll this, this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> motorboat, motorboat. Going to be too much fun. So um, while we're uh, um, for some reason I cannot dial out on this phone, um, so I am waiting for uh, Cotton Candy to call, call us. In. Yeah. And so while we're doing that, let's do a little bit of catch up. Do you want to do catch ups? I would love to do catch ups. It's been a little minute since I've done It has been ketchup. a little minute. Am I going first with my ketchups? <laughs> well, fucking yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, right? Because it's been a lot of ketchups. Because we ain't hurt nothing in a while. Right? In a long ass wait, time. Wait, wait, First I got to hear about the boy that we all met at Plush that night. What happened to that boy? Oh, uh, You know, that was something that was set up with a friend of mine that I went to high school with. And she said, let me hook you up with this guy. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. You guys would be great. So we went out, you know, a few times for dinner, and he and he was great. We had a really like great a time. Nice guy. Oh, yeah. Really great time. Really, really nice. Really cool. Fabulous. Um, and then he decided that all of a sudden he said something about not having enough time and moving in, and I said, "Hold the fuck up." He wanted to move in with you. Slow your roll. No, he thought I wanted to move in with him. Right, the, the, you hear the silence? That's kind of what the conversation sounded like. Wow. I was like, 
Huh? Wait, so was he then. asking you to move in here? He was. Like he saying, assumed that I wanted to move in. And with him. he was saying, "No, I don't want you to." He said, "He said that he doesn't have the time that it would take for us to live together." I said, "That's fantastic," because I don't remember asking to fucking live with you. <laughs> so that wow. works out well for the both of us. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know, I kind of got wind of some stories between like my friend and him got into it a little bit, and and we kind of caught him in a few lies, and I just don't have time for forty-five year old men that lie and bullshit. Shit. You know what I mean? I just I've been there, done that. I'm good. You know I don't what think I mean? Any age is acceptable for. Well, but I yeah, mean, you know, the well, younger they are, you expect them to be really stupid. But you know, at 45, you would think, okay, you're a little bit smarter, but no, <laughs> not really. Because you know, they're walking around going, "I'm grown." Right. I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, um, oh, guess who I got a message from on Plenty of Fish? I thought of all you girls and fucking went hysterical when I got it. Scrabble um, guy. Scrabble guy. No. Oh. Well, yes, yes, oh, yes. I was a texting a Scrabble guy during the white party at the Yes, event. yes, yes. He texts me and he says, uh, you know, of course he's texting me filthy shit, right? And um, he said, when are you coming to see me? I said, you still in Boulder City? Yeah, never. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like crickets again. He's like, what do you mean never? That's what I said. If you come off the mountain, maybe we could hook up. I said to him, I'm like, you were all about <laughs> going to meet us whenever. Why is it always everybody got to come to you now? Well, that's he just doesn't have a car anymore. Maybe. Oh, he, he does. got a truck. Yeah. He's a truck fucking driver. Drive right. that damn truck. We'll do it in the back of the goddamn truck. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. Where'd a car go go? <laughs> but then she's a dirty whore, so she'll do you anywhere. Uh, so I uh, no wonder I can't get a clean date. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the old man texts me. Oh, the old man with the rocket wow. scientist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, says, he says, do you think we could talk since we got off? No, since we... uh. Something about got off? <laughs> yeah, right. Something about um, since we oh we since our disagreement. Do you think that we've made up enough to talk? And I said, first of all, no, and second of all, there was no disagreement. You looked down your nose at me, and I put you in your place. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Another comment yeah, after do, that. Let's, let's let's do a quick synopsis of why the old okay. man got so on the list. I, d- I decided, you know, okay, let me try something new. I'm going to try an older guy. He's in his fifties. Which isn't ancient. So I figured, okay, let me give it a shot. No, it's not ancient. It's not ancient. So everything seemed okay. Um, He had to, we had a date and he had to change the time, uh, change it to another day because of a business meeting. And I was totally cool with that. I said, fine. Well, it just so happened that the next time we had a date, I was on call at work and could not go down to his side of town. Well, before I could even get the sentence out of my mouth, would you mind coming to this side of town? He came unglued. What the fuck do you mean you have to change times? You're going to cancel on me? You're only cutting heads. It's not nuclear medicine. <laughs> yeah, that was cutting heads. so big. And I'm, I, right. And I said, I'm sorry, what? And he said, and stupid said it again a second time. Like it wasn't. Like he wasn't even smart enough to catch himself. Right. So I said, you know what? I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a secret. I said, I don't know who the fuck you think you are. But don't you dare look down your nose at me for what I do because I've busted my ass to get where I am. And I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't even like you that much. So I, I don't let people talk down to me that I like. So what the fuck makes you think I'm going to let you do it? That's great. So he called you back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because I blocked him for the longest time. He couldn't send me any messages. So I'm like, okay, you know, he's got to have forgotten by now. So I unblocked it, you know, kind of got rid of the whole thing because i kept getting this message popping up you know of like lists of who you have blocked and he, I, so i took him off no sooner than i took him off like 12 hours later is when i got the message wow, wow. i'm like holy shit have you been mad dogging me this whole fucking time or what wow so um and then i had uh just a couple dates you know here and there nothing spectacular nothing you know fantastic or anything like that you know nothing to speak of you know how pof is but yeah oh yeah right Right. Wow. Yeah. So I uh, I actually went out and met a guy the other night, and um, okay so far. But I mean, I've learned to hold my breath. You know what I mean? Like you know, don't really, hold your breath. You you don't hold. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, because <laughs> don't hold it's the breath. right. Don't hold the breath. Right. I mean, he's all right. He's good looking. Um, forty six. You know, bald, which you know I love. Um, <laughs> has his own job, so I mean that's cool. Has his own car. Um, paid for drinks, so that was a Benny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Did he yeah. order food and then ask you to pay for it? Right, <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. That's your, your part is five ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, the ones I see, they don't tell me what my part is. They just give me the whole bill, and oh, they say here, nice. yeah. 
So um, other than that, just working my ass off. That's about it. That's my catch up. Well, that's, that's cool. It is. Well, that's good. At least you're still in the game, kind of, even though I think you should take a break. Well, you have thought I should take a break for the last three and a half years. I did, and yeah. But, you know, you know me. That's not, I mean, that's not, I, I'm not willing to take a full break. <laughs> but I, I have cut back because there's, when I get home from work, I'm just like, fuck you people. I don't want to talk to you. I'm Sometimes too tired. Sometimes I haven't bothered yet. Yeah, I'm yeah. too tired for that shit. So, um, we have Cotton Candy on the phone. Yay. Hi, Cotton Candy. Hello, lady. We want you in studio. Are you okay, first of all? Yes. Yes. You're well, okay? This is trying to kill me. That's all I know. <laughs> Y'all drive stupid crazy out here. <laughs> it's not <laughs> us. It's those Californians. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, at the last minute, it was like from the Washington Street exit is where we got on, and then at the last minute of the 95-15 split, he decided that he wanted to come back to the 15, so he hit the <laughs> median divider, the bandit, and oh, there was oh a, my God. a little PRX car on the right-hand side of the truck. <gasps> so when the van hit the median, the, the van spun around backwards. The CRX hit the back of the van to point the van in the opposite way of traffic. Then the CRX, because it hit the van, flew in front of our Tahoe. The bumper came off. Hit the side mirror on my side, passenger side, which kept the bumper from coming into the car. Hit the median on the other side, and then slowed, the, the truck slowed down for the car to hit the driver's side and part of the back side with my kids in the car. Like, oh, this shit. Like, a whole movie, like, the whole thing was in slow motion. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm so freaked out from it. Like, it, I felt like I was living in so much movie in that like and everything slowed down. So my, my left shoulder hurts and my neck hurts, but I'm not fooling nobody because God let me do that. So I'm just letting it be what it be. Right. But wow. yeah, kill me Friday for real. Wow. <laughs> so I um well I we're very glad that you're okay. And uh, yeah. we fully understand you not being in studio, but now we have to make another appointment for you to come in. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gotta yeah, motivate I- you. Yes. I promise I will be in the because I have your chocolate from Zurich. I bought the guys on oh, my. Oh, you're the best. Of chocolate and like they make the best chocolate desserts over there. Oh my God. There's this one dessert that they make. It's um, some kind of truffle thing, but it looks like hamburgers. And you can only eat, you have to eat it within 24 hours or it's no good. That's wow. Wow. That's crazy. Yummy. But, yeah, I have some chocolate for you, so when I come to the studio, we will be together. <laughs> so, how <laughs> was your trip to Europe? Uh, what, did, what did you get oh, to I do? Oh, I thought, and Shanice and I did three movies together, and I had a great time. I didn't get a chance to get into the big theater because the traffic was so horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't get a chance to go to the Tower of the Rock Theater because it was closed. So, <laughs> it, it's two lanes. One lane was for the Olympics, and the rest of it was for the traffic. The trams and the trains and the cabs was all backed up, so I just gave up on it. But Rusty Shanice and I shot at the um, Ibis in Heathrow, and it was a great shoot. I have one movie on my website already. It's called Shagged Across the Pond. And oh, I love that. <laughs> Shagged Across the Pond. It's a movie clock. So she's all happy about that. So one of the movies is Booty Clapping, and then we have another girl, girl scene. So she's happy about hers, and I'm happy about mine. I had a great time over there while I was shooting, so it was wonderful. Oh, that's, that's good. great. Did you uh, meet any great people um, that you want to tell us about? or? No, any? it was too busy. Besides yeah. us. Um, my cat driver, like on my YouTube channel, I have a cat driver. He tried to pick me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Busty Chinese, but for the most part, it was just too busy to meet anyone. Right. It was like, there's a million people walking around the street, and there was a party everywhere for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, is that because the Olympics were, th- like, part of the what was going on over there? Is that why there's a party, or they just party right. in general? Well, they started on Friday, and that's when all hell broke loose. Right, right, right. <laughs> And then, so what have you got in the works uh, here, now that you're back, and uh, you're in Vegas um, for how long? Yeah, and I'm in Vegas until Saturday, and then I'll be back on the 20th. So that following Sunday, I'll be able to come into the studio. Okay. Our mama will be on it, getting yeah. you booked. Yeah. I'll, I'll send I a know. message. 
<laughs> the chocolate is in the freezer, so it stays nice and fresh. Nice. <laughs> nice. But, but when I got here, I did a um, shoot with Sammy uh, Matthews. Uh, I think her Twitter is BBW Sammy. Right. Yep. And that's pretty, yeah. We so know Sammy it's, well. It's, oh, yes. That's, that's my baby girl. So yeah, I got her back, 100 grand. So we did a shoot here, and I did a shoot with Anna, Lou, um, Anna, and also Lou and Dorian. So that's all coming out on um, my website as well. And that's cottoncandy.com. Uh, candy with an Candy with an I. Candy with an I, right. Um, you know, Diamond Dave um, is your biggest fan uh, of ours. <laughs> And um, he loves you. He thinks you're so delicious that he would put you on a plate and sop you up with a biscuit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I like it to be a sticky for you with me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Talking dirty now. I love this girl. <laughs> I know. I can't wait to get her in studio. <laughs> yeah, you got to come spend some time with us, sister, because we got some stories to hear. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'll <laughs> <laughs> And then you need to go out to the club with us one night and drink with us. I don't drink. So what we do. What? It's okay. Yeah. You don't have to. We do enough drinking for all of you. We'll handle it. Okay, that'll work. I know Mama and I can take care of it with no problem. Yeah. That'll work. Mama and Sweet Cheeks are our designated alcoholics. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, I'll make sure I get her some drinks. Okay. All right. <laughs> you can't I'll never say no to that. Yeah, I'll support the habit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Chocolate and drinks. What else? Do, and cotton candy. What else do I want? Um, what's what's uh, your YouTube channel, uh, Cotton Candy? Because um, I know you do little vlogs, uh, video blogs on there. Little boxes, everyone. It's um, making it happen. The number four, the letter U. M a k i n g i t h a p p e n. Number four, U. Awesome. And you should go check because her her little her little video blogs are adorable. Funny. I love them. Beautiful. I, I love them. I, I think I it's what of that. And it, it, it's what I think makes you more real, you know, because you're you. you're giving the behind the scenes stuff and you're giving your opinion and you're telling the stories and you're introducing us to people. I love it. Oh, thank you. It's not just about all the cock you put in your mouth. <laughs> Although that helps. How have I had this year? Let me think. (laughs) (laughs) Let me count the penises. Let me count the penises. I just did my first, um, my own impression of ghetto gaggers. (laughs) Ghetto (laughs) gaggers? Yeah, but it's it's, it's a little bit more nicer. (laughs) Ghetto gaggers is those fake penises with the fake semen, right? uh, No, 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 no. No. um, I'm actually doing a shoot with them on the 28th. Get You're it. talking about um, Roddy Rodica? Yeah. Rodica or something like that? Yes. Yeah. I'm doing a shoot with them on the 28th. But no, Ghetto Gaggers is um, a site that's all about gagging, you know. Uh, so far down the your throat? You get the throat, the, the, the dick down the throat, the better it is. So I did my own little version, which is a little bit more. I mean, how sophisticated can you be with a dick in your mouth? But it's a little more sophisticated. <laughs> Do men, like, go on our Twitter, by do the men way. like when the women gag? Right. They do? Exactly. I've heard. Yeah. They like it? They think it? they're doing something. Yeah, they think yeah. it, it oh, makes I them feel Oh, I think they're going to make me, Yeah, when I puke on their penis, they ain't going to like it. And then they say, oh, oh sorry. That's sorry. part of it? They like that, side of the Mike? Yeah, they like that part. They love that part. <laughs> oh. I've heard it's like a huge thing. Men are so nasty. It is. It really is. It really, really is. Men are some dirty hoes. They try anything, won't they? <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, I did that. So uh, there are 10 things of that that's coming to my website in about another three days. Now, now that'll send me to the website. I'm telling I, you. You know what? You know what? That quote is going to stick with me for the rest of my life. How sophisticated can you be with a dick in your mouth? That is exactly. going to stick with me forever. <laughs> <laughs> Cod Candy, we cannot wait to get you in the studio. It's going to be Now, if, I, if one of us have to pick you up so you don't get into an accident... <laughs> We will make sure you get here, sister. I'll bring the bubble wrap. Other people, it's not you guys. <laughs> mama <laughs> says, "Mama <laughs> says she'll wrap you in bubble wrap till you get here, so you can't get hurt." All right, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like a whole new video. Bubble wrap. <laughs> oh <laughs> lord. Someone offered to do saran wrap for me. I said, "Do you know you want me like four boxes of more saran wrap just for my titties alone?" <laughs> <laughs> 
you have some damn bubble wrap. <laughs> so we're set for the 26th. I know um, Andre is not going to let me forget. <laughs> no, we'll send Andre an email and get them all hooked up on the date. Yeah. So be looking for me on, uh, what is this, Futanaria, F-U-T-A-N-A-R-I-A dot com after the 28th of this month. Futurina? Which is that kind of stuff. Yeah. Futurina. Is that what it's called? Because I think it's just type here. I have no idea. Uh, just, can you spell it again? F U T A N A R I A. Futurina. 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 Is that what it's called? Futurina. I don't know. Who cares? That's the one with the big cops and the big fake cops and all that stuff. I'm oh, almost okay. positive that you'll be tweeting it and posting on your website and on your Facebook and all that stuff. So. Hi. And maybe we can uh, share the link once you post it. Yeah, I can't wait to wear a big, big old dick. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Some things are huge. I can't wait to put that on. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> <laughs> they are enormous, and they're so they fake. They are enormous. Okay, so be looking for that. But I will see you guys on the twenty sixth. Okay, Yay. we'll do. Yay! Excited. Love you, All right, bye. Bye bye. Bye, cotton candy. Oh, it's break time. That was good time in this lecture. Perfect yeah. timing. Was perfect timing. This is our mandatory um, half of the show break, so right. we, so we can, can split it here. Split it. Yeah. So um, dive, we will dive, be right back. We take a little bit longer break than usual right now. So we will be right back for your listening and watching enjoyment. You're listening to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City. Masturbate. On VegasAllNetRadio.com. <laughs> Masturbate. Bye.
the sweet cheeks with the curvaceous bounty of Sin City. In this election year, knowledge is power. Know the issues, know the candidates, and remember to vote. Your vote is your voice. And besides, you get a really cool sticker. It's hard to talk to your kids about the S word because they're too young to think about bedroom activities. So you try to limit their exposure to adult behavior. But there's birds and bees stuff everywhere. We know that S word makes you uncomfortable, but you've got to talk to us about sex. You don't have to be explicit. Just tell us how you feel. Tell us you want us to wait to do that stuff. For help starting the conversation, visit 4 Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and this station. This is Calypso from the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City asking you to support your local children's charities. None of us wants to see our children sick or in need, but if we don't support these charities now, they won't be there later. Our children are the future. Let's invest in them now while we can. Hey, this is Munch from the Geek Lounge. In case you haven't heard, the Geek Lounge is the one-stop shop for talk about all things anime, comics, manga, video games, movies, and everything geekdom. Tune in every Sunday at 4 on VegasAllNetRadio.com and geek out with us. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook at The Geek Lounge and on Twitter, Geek underscore Lounge. Geeks, beat out for the people. Half of young Americans can't locate economic powers like Japan and India. 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. Without geography, our children aren't ready for the world. Geography is everywhere. It's incredible creatures. Rhythm. Fashion. Flavor. It's economics and politics. It's change. Understanding connections between people and places is critical in the 21st century. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org for your free parent and teacher action kits. Because kids who understand our world today can succeed in it tomorrow. Of destruction, tax deduction, see inspectors, bill collectors, population out of hand. Suicide, too many bills, people all over the world are shouting in the war. And the band played It's Sir Cooper every Thursday afternoon at 3 on Vegas All at Radio.com and on the third Thursday of the month at 3 right here on KLAV. Yes, this is Sir, and I approve this commercial. Sweet Cheeks, the fat Shanista with the curvaceous bounty of Sin City. Join myself, Alexia, Sierra, and Calypso on Sunday nights from 7 to 10 at VegasAllNetRadio.com. I'll show you how stylish it is to feel good about yourself, love yourself at any size, show your arms, dress cute, and walk proud. Check us and our cleavages out at SinCityBounty.com. Hi, I'm DJ Tim Dope. Come join us every Saturday night at 6 p.m. PDT, 9 p.m. EDT for my new show, Pure Dope Radio, here on Vegas All Net Radio. We'll be having fun addressing your issues with special guests each week. So I'll see you at 6 p.m. PDT, 9 p.m. EDT, Saturday, on the show, Pure Dope Radio, on Vegas All Net Radio. You're just the sun na 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 na
eyes and turn my face to you Much too bright for my eyes But the beams warm me through and through So much power lets me shiver Let's me stall As I run towards the pile I lose it all Feel me jump him Feel like floating through the air You're just the sun You're just the sun Shining on the is intended for mature audiences only and contains strong or potentially offensive language of an adult and sexual nature. So, listener discretion advised. The views and opinions expressed on the curvaceous bounty of Sin City do not reflect those of this radio station or its affiliates. Calypso, Alexia, Sierra, and Sweet Cheeks are personalities put on for your entertainment. All music, stories, and characters are the sole property of their creators and are protected under international copyright laws. The stories are real. The language is explicit. The behavior is outrageous. If you can't take the heat, get the fuck out of the kitchen. When my girl got the sweetest pussy Nestles in her lap Be the first to admit And want to stroke that kid And fell right into her trap Now all that fur and purring Gives me cause to pause She may have a pretty kitty boo Watch out for those claws Las Vegas, Nevada, it is the curvaceous bounty of Sin City. Starring Sierra, Calypso, Alexia, and Sweet Cheeks.
Welcome back to the second half of the award-winning Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on Vegas, allnetradio.com. The final, that's right, award-winning, the final frontier of free motherfucking speech bitches. So the music that you listened to just before we came back, um, I don't know if we're going to edit it out of the podcast or not. We're not? Okay. That was, uh, the first song was Deathbed Revival, Your Song. And the second song that you heard was Pagan Piper Project, Just the Sun. They're a couple of local bands, I believe. I know Deathbed Revival is. I don't know about Pagan Piper. I don't think they're local, but they did send us uh, their release form and um, a CD for us to play. And uh, they came via Tim. Yeah, oh, Slim Tim. By Slim the way, we love promoting nice. local bands. Yes, local we do. Groups. We love uh, we love artists, up and coming yes. artists. If you want your music featured on our show, uh, just send your information to info at sincitybounty.com and send us a release, or we will send you one to fill out. Uh-huh. We've been the doing data, it for she three said, years. Up and coming. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're going to segue right into your favorite informational segment, the Nationwide BBW Club Calendar. For all of this information and more, visit NationwideBBWClubCalendar.com. If I missed your show, it's because you didn't post it and Silent Mike didn't get it. So, too bad on you. Starting off with the BBW... <laughs> so mean! I, I am the mean one. And I'm the talent. BBW <laughs> Summer <laughs> Bash. <laughs> It's the BBW Summer Bash in Connecticut, August 10th and the 11th at the Marriott Hotel in Rocky Hill, Connecticut. It's $20 each night or $30 for both nights. All right. South Florida BBW Party, Saturday, August the 11th at 9 p.m. Dress in your favorite team jerseys or colors. They're honoring the start of football season. Go Cowboys. La Quinta Inn and Suites in Plantation, Florida. www.soflo, that's S-O-F-L-A, BBWDance.com. La Quinta. Club Bounce in Long Beach, Saturday, <laughs> August 11th at 9 p.m. It's the Jungle Jam. This is right up our favorite uh, Fashionista's alley. <laughs> Wear your favorite animal print. A Ooh. chance for the men to hunt and the ladies to prowl. For more info, go to clubbounce.net. Thursdays are always thick here in Las <laughs> Vegas at the Power Exchange. For more information, go to powerexchange.com. BBW Summer Bash 2012. Why is this? Is this two oh, different ones? Oh, no, no, Uh-oh. no. Yeah, move that. I fucked up. Oh, you fucked up? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. She got me doubled up here. Well, then we're just going to go right into the Thick Nation Vegas Weekend T-shirt meet and groot. Whoop. Meet and groot. It's meet and greet. <laughs> meet and greet. Right. This is I why like, we do it live now. I like meet and groot. <laughs> meet, and groot. meet and groot. Mm. Mm. Meet and groot. Meet and groot. It's an old school pool party at what was formerly the Las Vegas Hilton, now known as the LVH. Friday, August 17th at 10 p.m. Look for the Thick Nation Cabana. It's two for one drinks. Thick Nation! Club Canalita's Goth Night theme Cat-talina. party. Catalina. Saturday, August the 11th. Come in your favorite goth clothes at Riley's in San Diego. Go to clubcanalita.com. Thick and sexy Saturdays with DJ Chris Plush and DJ Cakes. That's a Z on the end. Cakes. That's the Infused Lounge at Sunnyvale, California. For more information, go to thick408.com. Isn't Chris Plush from, like, Florida? Yes. Yes. I think he bounces. But he does. He bounces. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Also, in California, California has so much going on. Diva Delight Summer Affair, hosted by Club Impulse and V <laughs> Entertainment. Saturday, August the 18th, women free till 1030. Upside Down Bar in Montclair, Col- California. Go to www.club-impulse.com. The BBW BHM community of Central Florida Speed Dating, hosted by Club Deluptuous <laughs> BBW. Friday, September 7th, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. One lucky couple will win a dinner and movie date. For more information, go to Club Deluptuous BBW.com. <laughs> Rock Your Curves Fashion Summer Splash Fashion Show, Saturday, August the 25th. Fashion show for all size models. Wyndham Hotel in Irvine, California. RockYourCurvesFashion.com. Chunky Fine presents. Chunky Fine. Live the Lifestyle, Not the Size Cruise 2012, September 20th through the 24th. 24th. For more information, go to <laughs> ChunkyFine.com. I love saying that. Chunky Fine. Chunky Fine. fine. Also, another BBWCruise.com. September 16th through the 23rd, seven days. St. Thomas, St. Lucia, St. Kitts, St. Martin. Book now, BBWCruise.com. Nice. Find this and all of your other BBW events at the Nationwide BBW Club Calendar on Facebook. 
Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo-hoo. Get it on there. We talk about it. <laughs> I just want to know one fucking thing. Oh boy! One fucking thing. Yes, I just want to know why. Style. Why didn't you? coach her not to say the M in there like you did me last week. <laughs> and you didn't have no fucking voice. No, 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 no. I don't coach anybody because they all tease me because I put the M No, in you there. did. You did me like it's on, it's on tape. It's on tape. Go <laughs> Mama, see. That was the first time you Go did see. the club so stuff. The, you, Lincoln so F.A. I didn't want you to fuck up like oh, me. Okay, Lincoln else? F.A. loves your meet and grope. <laughs> I don't and think grope. the women would probably well, like Lincoln it. F.A. <laughs> down with a meet and grope. Lincoln F.A. and, and I have already met and groped, okay? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> But you are, Blanche, you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Horty Hans, you're such a fount of wonderful, fantastic sound bites. Thank you. That was awesome. That was, yeah, yeah, thanks that was thanks to uh, Horny Hans for that. So, By the way, Horny Hans, I am stomping your ass again in Words with Friends, just so you know. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Sierra, both Sierra and I play Words with Friends, and we you regularly stomp everybody's ass that we play. That's why I don't play with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I always see it uh, uh, challenge so-and-so to a game, and uh, if you are brave enough... <laughs> <laughs> we will play with to you. To not only listen to the show, but play Words with Friends with us. I am Dame Vegas on Words with Friends. Have you ever played Dirty Words with Friends yet? Do like they have a they specific have game? No, you can make that up with She's like a played Dirty play. With Friends. Well, yeah, we know that. <laughs> but like, you know, like, okay, these could only be sexually related words. We've done that when we play Live Scrabble. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Because we'll put down words like egg. You know, like Ova, like when you're pregnant. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I, I oh, say. you know what? Did you see the 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 Michael Phelps thing on Facebook? What Which about one? It's like me? sperm. Sperm. Uh, it's sperm. They're sperm. And it's a bunch of sperm, and then this one is Michael Phelps. <laughs> like the one that's out ahead of everybody? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you remember Michael right after Phelps. he was in the Olympics four years ago, um, there was his picture plastered on the front page of the National Enquirer with a big bong, okay? Right, water bong. And there was something going around Facebook this week, and they said smoking weed would be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. That was very <laughs> funny. Michael Phelps, 22 medals. What the a most bad decorated ass. Olympian unreal. ever. I love. Do you unreal. guys love the Olympics? Do you love them? I do. I, I do. do. Swimming and gymnastics is my favorite. I have been inundated with Olympics. My, I'm an yes. Olympics widow. Yeah. So <laughs> Cal- Cali Guy has set my DVR to record every Olympics event known to man well, except you know for soccer. There, there's a big <laughs> stinko about the Olympics now because of all the social media. NBC has always just taped the most important parts and showed it at, at a primetime event. Yeah, but now we're seeing cool shit like handball, which is awesome because now I found the Las Vegas team handball it's group right. and I'm going to go join. Because it looks well, like so, so the big stink is like because everybody's given the spoilers, you know. They're like if you watch CNN during the day, they're saying this gold medal and this one, and you if you just regularly watch the NBC coverage, you ain't gonna know that until at night. So they're always preempting everything now. This is a spoil. This is a spoiler. Uh, spoiler yeah, alert. NBC has been doing that, but they don't do it right because they, no. they don't they don't tell you until after that it's a spoiler. <laughs> right. Well, by the way, isn't that supposed to be pertinent information? Well, before they I really am? made a big mistake um, last week. One of the female um, females who won a gold medal. 20 minutes before the her meet ran that night where she won the medal, they had a commercial kind of like of her meet, seeing her parents like they came to see her. Oh, you won, you won. So they made their own fupa on their own coverage by showing that before she actually won the medal. So fupa, yeah. isn't that your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> it's faux pas. I thought it was a pussy from Star Wars. No, <laughs> faux pas. No, a fupa is your fat upper pussy area. Okay. <laughs> faux pas. <laughs> faux pas. Oh my god, I hate you bitches. <laughs> we're Scrabble. I'm we're leaving! <laughs> Deluptuous. Vendetta yeah. says that smoking weed probably helped Michael Phelps' lung capacity. Most I'm likely. with you, Vendetta. Good. Especially if he can do a whole bong hit where you fill that shit up and then you just... No, he probably does a whole bong there shit and then goes there and back in the pool without breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he does, he does it very well. Right. And h- how is weed a performance enhancing drug anyway? I have never performed better on weed ever. But I have the story of the one boyfriend <laughs> I had that would clean the house from top to bottom. Give me... give Yeah, uh, like like a, a little, a <laughs> little, little Mary Jane and a pot of coffee my house is spotless they don't call you know it what? that shit no more though when, when, when I, I was smoking <laughs> weed which i don't do anymore because i am older and wiser mm. shit <laughs> <laughs> i sit in the corner play with my lips and pass out that's, that's what's <laughs> like <laughs> i do the same i watch tv zone out get all lazy I'm, I'm, and fat and i'm glad, you, cl- I'm glad you clarified clean, what lips you play with because i was like it was a 
toss up there for I a minute. Don't let her fool you. It's both at the same time. <laughs> you clean, clean your house. house. I can't I mean, do shit. I gotta. I, you know I get what? For me, it's actually a pain reliever for my arthritis. It and, really and, does and work as that. Yeah. That's where the medical marijuana comes exactly. in. So. Yeah. Any excuse, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, my big butt. toe hurts. Are we doing ketchup? <laughs> yeah, let's do, <laughs> let's do my a toe ketchup. Fuck. Where's the pot? Who wants to go? I'll go and catch up. Yeah, okay. Do it. Well, have you oh been shit. doing it? <laughs> I am an official team member of the Obama campaign now. Woohoo! You went and volunteered. I went and volunteered. Nice. Vote Ron Paul. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I talked about you at the campaign oh, office. did you? I did said, you? my friend wants to vote for Ron Paul. <laughs> and I told her it was her wasted vote. Make her fucking mind up and don't vote for Ron Paul. <laughs> so they didn't have any problems when you went in and told them that you'd like to fuck Barack Obama rather than just vote for him? Well, it doesn't everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do his I wife, do. though. His <laughs> wife looks like she could crack right. a whip like no one's business. She'd be out there smacking your ass. That's right, bitch. You'll take the first lady's pussy and like it. <laughs> I, I have... I have <laughs> they have the fucking Secret Service calling. <laughs> Well, I had this revelation, you guys. They're okay. already in their own. So the NSA is out in the <laughs> lobby already. <laughs> so um, I had this revelation at some point in um, while I was doing this because at the end of the evening, I had texted my daughter and got her schedule. And I'm thinking now, you know, because I'm signing up. You sign up and you put your sticky on the day that you want to come in and volunteer. So I'm trying to figure out a few hours here, a few hours there. And I looked down and, and I picked some hours and I went, hmm. <laughs> maybe this is why I don't date much because I keep myself really busy and then I tried to say maybe I keep myself busy for a reason because you don't because you have issues that's why well I decided that the reason I keep so busy is because it gives me time to go on one date and then I could never make the second date because I'm too busy so basically you issues. sabotage your dating life before yes. I start well okay. she has commitment issues we know this yeah she's so a dirty whore She's so a what if, so what if they call you just say like I don't want to date you I just want to fuck. No, because I really don't want that. Oh, okay. Are you sure? <laughs> Sometimes. <I'm just> curious. <laughs> <laughs> sure, kind of means yes all the time. <laughs> That's what you tell the kids. Maybe. Yeah, because you maybe. don't really know what we'll the answer see. wants we'll to be. We'll see if I want to yeah, fuck we'll you. We'll see. Yeah, That's a good one. We'll see. We'll see. You know what? I'm really trying to like because you know I'm 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 getting older, Sunny. No, I'm not that old, but you know <laughs> someday I'd like to have somebody to grow old with. So I'm thinking maybe I should start trying to maybe find that person to grow old with. And then when I go out with somebody and we have a great time, I go, Oh no, I I don't think I want them. <laughs> oh God, I can see you with me for the next twenty years. Exactly. Fuck. Like, oh my God, this is somebody I might really like. Uh uh-uh. uh what you're you're texting me ignore <laughs> you know so shame on me so anyway let me tell you about the my my other thing this week that i had to cancel our wednesday meeting for i get a i get a text message at 5 15 you're wanted for a photo shoot um at one of the casinos down to, um on the strip um in an hour pays great an hour an hour wow well I've been with kids all day. I mean, I mean, I know it's going to take me at least 30 minutes to get there. I said, you know, I want the money, but no fucking way. So anyway, they worked it all out that I could get there at 730 along with the rest of the talent. Now, you guys, I've been on a lot of reality TV <laughs> show huh. um, um, sets. Yes. This was absolutely the biggest and busiest set I've ever been on. I mean, they had the craft food table in. Okay, can they when even craft wow. services come in, it's big shit. Okay, can, they, can you even tell us what the show name well, is? Well, here's a, no. Here's the funniest thing. <sighs> I'm sitting in holding my holding spot. <laughs> Her holding, holding cell. Tank. It's like being in county. And and I'm texting <laughs> and I'm texting Sierra. Oh, I'm on this thing. Da, da 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 da. And then she's like, Well, what are you doing? Any famous people? And then in between that and that, I get the paperwork about this thick that you sign your life away that you ain't talking about none of this shit or they can sue you forever Ugh. so i went oh i just signed the paperwork that says i'm gonna keep my big fat fucking mouth shut or else i'm gonna go to jail so i couldn't tell her anymore but i can give you the gist I, there's a few things i want to tell you first of all the bigger the production is the more people standing around doing nothing i know <laughs> and the longer it fucking takes you to get paid that's my pet peeve about unions mm -hmm. i'm gonna tell you they i have never seen nothing. so many Lo wait, <laughs> so many <laughs> early 20s people standing around doing nothing. Picking their noses. So just go go to Blue Martini. I mean, they so had, what did he say? So the mic had to correct me. It's the production company, not the fucking union. <laughs> well, <laughs> he, uh, this he just became unsilent. I mean, I mean, right, it, it, it just 
blows my mind the number i mean they had people you know that their only job was to um put rose petals in the hot tub you know so that's anyway, a union job isn't it yeah it was unbelievable yeah, <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was real, yeah. It and that motherfucker makes nineteen ninety five an hour. I bet. I heard oh, that. Look and you know, know, more like that. you want to know how many of them were there? I mean, this was a big production. This is this I'm was some big money in this. I can do that right. job. So, right? um, <laughs> but you guys, and that's I why your movie tickets are like twenty five fucking dollars. Yeah, right? and and I can't talk a lot about it. It's going to be a reality show, and it was at one of the big. Um, they it was at one of the spas at one of the major hotels on the strip. Now. Part of what I had to do was get in the water of this spa. You guys, Ooh. I got to tell you something. What the fuck do they put in the water in them spas? Why? Well, uh -oh. you know, whether it's salt that water. Sound or good. No, no, no. It was great. Or chlorine. You always come out of the pool salt. with a little Dry. film or something. My skin was like I just bathed in like oil of Olay. I Maybe mean, it was spoon. So I don't. <laughs> thanks. Chalky no, there was no <laughs> cups sitting around. <laughs> there were no cups. Bro, there were cups. They just threw them away before you got they there. They probably put Epsom salts in. Something. Yeah. But I am Epsom telling you, I am mm -hmm. telling you, like, I, 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 I was like, <laughs> they couldn't get her out of the water. I was like, no, I don't want to get out. Do get I out, have bitch. to? Get out, bitch. <laughs> do I have to? Your hour's over. Eat your cake, bitch. Get out and eat your cake. That's right. <laughs> no, you guys, here's the funniest thing. I mean, they had somebody hired. There was me and a couple other entertainers um, we were hired. They had one person that their job was just to sit in this room. We were in this very nice lounge area, and there was the craft foods and whatever, and they didn't want the people from the reality show to see us before we were there. But it, their, this person's job was just to sit and babysit the talent. Like, just sit there and wait for us to need something. And, uh, oh, is it? Just wow. babysit you, make sure you Yeah, with the nowhere. radio. And they just, and <laughs> They're I looked moving. at him the and I said, are moving. <laughs> are you the babysitter? And he went, yeah. So then a few minutes later, the babysitter switched shifts. New babysitter. Wow. <laughs> Did yeah. any of your babysitters have a personality? I don't think they were allowed to. <laughs> nice. <laughs> personality so, um, was babysitters. But you guys, <laughs> I was, I was, uh, two of the other girls that were with me and played a part. They were very, I mean, I'm talking like anorexic then, okay. And Vendetta um, says it's called a wrangler. A wrangler? My babysitter was a wrangler? That's what your job was? No. Oh. That's dead on. Oh, that's dead on. What? You're absolutely right, Vendetta. Oh, okay. You're a wrangler. So, you guys, I couldn't even get in the mirror to see that my makeup looked good. Yeehaw. Because these little girls <laughs> would not leave the front of the mirror. <laughs> Okay, and we're all dressed in our costumes, or you girl, know, you we should get have pulled done. the card. You know why? Because you're the makeup. fat girl, and you don't need to look good in. in the I mirror. guess not, but I wanted to knock the bitches out. Okay, <laughs> all because of them we went to wardrobe. Good, like well, we went to wardrobe, and then makeup, makeup, makeup stood, makeup went actually stood came to us. Makeup, makeup came to us, <laughs> and here's these girls in the mirror. All, and, all and, puffed, and the boobies all puffed no, no, up. Wait a minute. the timeout is like we're having a conversation. She's standing back from the room, then we're having a conversation, but she can't take herself picture. She's talking to me, but looking in the mirror because she can't take her picture. I'm like, fuck me already. Let me in the fucking mirror. So then they switched us from one holding room to another holding room, and the first thing she said, Where's the mirror? Wow. She first actually thing. asked for it. Wow. Where's the mirror? Why is there no mirror in here? And they had to wow. show her where a mirror was. It, it's like blows my fucking Aww. mind. So fucking anyway, though, people. but yeah, this is this was fun. I, I you know the movie set, the show sets, and this is by far the biggest production I've ever. I think money production that I've ever been involved in, as far as the number. I mean, there were like a hundred people on the set doing nothing. Blue <laughs> martini. I'm telling you, what Same the fuck. Thing. So other than that, oh, season project runway season <coughs> ten let off a couple of weeks ago so you know i have to watch that right but other than that um okay i have to find a way to be busy and to have sex <laughs> <laughs> why don't you just have busy sex i'm thinking maybe i can find somebody at the obama office huh hey there you yeah, go there you go similar <laughs> likes and they're all young too how big is, is the bathroom really well not all how many them. closets oh do they they're have? really young okay like i went in there and this girl had to been like 21 fresh out of college and and um they actually had me doing some phone calls for them for um um uh, for volunteers people who used to volunteer involved in the campaign and do you want to come back in and volunteer and you know they're, they're such cheerleaders you know and, and i've done so i mean like i've done it like 30 years of phone work in my life you know so i get done and she goes oh my god you're so good don't you want to be a team leader and I'm oh like, shit. no i'll just come in and volunteer oh, shit. <laughs> oh so lord maybe you'll heart. get more guys if you have a title oh. i hear men like I, titles. I don't need a title i have an ass that's right. 
That's okay. True. I don't need a title. But so yeah, that was my busy week. I worked a little, which, and then I, um, what did you call didn't it? Fuck it all. I didn't. I need to fuck really but bad. But you did. You were in a in a maybe maybe going to be on TV. Yeah, you, I, I should be. I was on UFC at some point. I mean, there there's stuff. We didn't around. see you, by the way. We totally watched the ne- the final episode. Okay, okay, let me we ask you a question. Tape. Did you watch the circus episode? Because I can talk about it now. Because I have a clip of me in this. I sent her a clip of Were me. Were you in sure the it was for the last season and not the new upcoming no, season? It's the circus the type because Irma got a clip from it. I sent oh, her okay. a clip from it. It was the circus. Alexia issue. got one too. <laughs> <laughs> Um, speaking of, uh, if you're interested for uh, uh, all of us in Vegas, uh, one of our big claims to fame, big claims to fame is Liberace. Yeah, he's dead. He is dead, but they are filming the movie. And the movie, by the way, is starring Michael Douglas and Matt Damon. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ooh. my God. And is being directed Sexy. by Steven Soderbergh. Oh, shit. Who's going to be the gay one? But they're opening. Uh, they have open auditions. They had them today, and they're going to have them tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow between uh, two and six p.m. at the Las Vegas Hilton. Can I be Matt Damon's babysitter? I mean, <laughs> uh, what what is did it called? Wrangler. Did, Wrangler. Ever, did any of you ever go to the Liberace Museum when <coughs> it was here? It's still here. Yes. No, it's, it's not. Here. It's closed down. It's closed, but it's is still. It? But yes, when I was a kid, I took piano lessons for twelve years, and so back then is when Liberace was like famous. Right. And I remember just like watching Liberace for hours. My father would. I don't know if you remember back then, but in the malls there was always a music store. Yes. So we go to the mall, and my father would make us play in the music store because people would stop and listen to us, and he'd be and he would call us Liberace. <laughs> my dad would. <laughs> but the Liberace Museum, you guys, was phenomenal. I mean, I understand why it closed because it, there's a generation of people that don't have no fucking right. idea who Liberace is now <coughs> but it was awesome these pianos and his cars and his costumes it was fabulous anyway yeah. so if you're interested you can just go to the Las Vegas Hilton tomorrow um, between between uh, 2 and 6 p.m. it's uh, 300 Paradise Road Ballroom C there are no charges if you get hired and there will be pay if you do get hired so Ooh, that's nice. cool. there's no link or number to call uh, but our station, home station, has been pimping it out. So I thought yep. we should throw it out there, too. Woohoo! Yeah, nice. But if you like that kind of stuff, getting into movies and stuff like that. Cool. So anyway, that's, um, yeah. I'm going to. It's like the LVH now, not the Hilton. And, I, and, and you're the Las Vegas y- Hilton? Y- yeah, but it's not the Hilton. Oh. It's the LVH. Oh, LV- oh, hotel. Yeah. Las Vegas Hotel. Sorry. What is the D now that used to be what? It used to be, no, it used to be. Fo- Fitzgerald's? No, it, no, 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 no. It was something else. I thought it was Fitzgerald. That's no, downtown. Fitzgerald. There's yes. something called the D. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. It's loop. downtown. It's one of the downtown hotels changed their name to the D. I think it's Fitzgerald. I don't think I so. Think really? No? What did the d- It's not the Queen. Hold on. Four Queens. It's not the Four Queens. It's not the Golden Nugget. Siri, what was the D? <laughs> 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 I love Siri. <laughs> Oh, Let me check. Carol Burnett just died? What? No. No way Carol Burnett just died. Get talk, out. talk hard on Twitter. Just put RIP Carol Burnett. Wow. No. Oh, my god. Well, gosh. she was like 200, wasn't she? No, 70 something. I probably. love. What was me the too. D downtown? She just gave me input interpretation. D, character, visual I form. Don't see what was the D downtown in your address book? Just <laughs> put the D. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was that D downtown in no. your address? What were you girl? saying about Siri? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. You can't be that general. I know, Siri. Hold on. Former name of the hotel casino, The D, downtown Las Vegas. There Vendetta says that Douglas is going to be Liberace and Damon is going to be his lover. Oh, the oh, one. Wait wow. a minute. The, one had, <laughs> right? the lover who had all kinds hard. of plastic surgery to try to look like Liberace. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This was a bit. Oh, trust me. I know all this Liberace shit. Um, the the <laughs> lover had actually had plastic surgery to look more like Liberace. That is a creepy. younger Liberace. And there was a big thing when Liberace died about him getting some of the money and a big. That's creepy. Thing. Yeah, it was creepy. So anyway, that's my catch up. Someday I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be a grown up and have sex. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, oh, so you know what I, I forgot. Mm, I forgot to tell you guys one more thing. Little tidbit of information. You're pregnant. Oh, sorry. Oh, God for fucking bit. Are you kidding me? What's the date today, ladies? The fifth. Yeah. <laughs> My wedding anniversary. Is it your wedding anniversary <laughs> day? 
That's awesome. Isn't that funny shit? I stopped in the middle of work. I was writing the date down and I went, I'll be damned and went hysterical. So me and the girls from work actually went down went out after work and had a drink to celebrate the ex no longer being involved. It was great. Wow. Right? That's awesome. Hey, right. you're listening to the Curvaceous Bounty of uh, Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on <laughs> Vegas. I don't do it often enough. The Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on Vegas on netradio.com. Uh, we're doing an identifier because I don't want to go to break. Um, we've got a special announcement to make, um, and uh, that'll be any time now. But let's do a let's do another catch up while we're waiting. Go ahead, Mama. <sighs> well, as you all know, I'm single, Mommy. The first first part of my week, and then her second part of the week, she has to punch her card. Well, <laughs> let me just tell you about that because it is so great that I get to talk about shit on the radio <laughs> and that it's on fucking tape. <coughs> I'm just going to go back and show him. Well, yes, because he decided that he was going to pull the card. This is what you said. Yes, so he insisted that he pulled the card and he pulled it up. And what I said was, he thinks he's going to get an extra punch because it's going to be his birthday. Happy birthday, honey, tomorrow. Um, that's what I said. So he said, no, you said you were giving me an extra punch. I was like, no. So we were arguing and we had to pull up the podcast <laughs> and we had to go over it to see what I said. And then he shut up. <laughs> oh, Got it on tape. I love yes. it. You, you were right. So it used to be the Fitzgeralds. Oh, I, wait, wait. Say that again. I was right. You dirty whore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's great having a, a a a veritable encyclopedia of past conversations. That way, you can always bring it up and always. Yes, be right. he argued me because down. You know he and was going to hear what he wanted to hear. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. he, oh, you know, he insisted. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. And I was like, No, you're going to pull it up. I know what I said. And no, I'm going to pull it up. Okay, we'll pull it up then. Good. For and you. it said, he thinks. It didn't say that I said I was going to plant, make an extra punch because it was his birthday. So, thank you, podcast. But did and he get an extra punch for his birthday? All that good stuff. No. Oh, you're a dirty hole. It's not his birthday yet. His birthday's tomorrow. But he's going to be gone on his birthday. He got sex like five times this week. Oh, Woo! You wow. Punches then. Yeah, you totally punched but that. Uh, although, <laughs> although he is so fucking technical about it because... Okay, oh, it's not a blowjob. No, well, no. It, 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 you, know, you know the punches have to be certain things. <laughs> so if, in the, if they're not the certain things, then it doesn't classify as a punch regardless of who was satisfied and or not. So this is wait, my wait, problem. Wait, wait, So an orgasm simply doesn't count as a punch. Not if it's not if it's not both punches. Then that is a, a separate. Wait, punch. wait. What's a both punch? Okay, so we have to. Well, he has to have it like regular, s- regular sex ways, whatever the position may be, and a blowjob. Those are the two punches. Wait, now you have to do one of each of those punches on a weekend, or two of each of those. One of each. Oh, that ain't shit. Yeah, that's right. easy to do. But anything extra, he doesn't count as any punches. Like or you can't spe- carry. No, I you can't, can't carry special recognition. <laughs> Can you carry it over to the next week? No. Oh. Whatever happens that weekend happens that weekend. Whatever happens in Mama's twat stays in Mama's twat. <laughs> so he's like, "Biscuits, well, gravy, and apparently scrambled eggs." <laughs> now, <laughs> <laughs> aren't your eggs? So, no, never mind. Mine are hard boiled, baby. <laughs> right, mine are. <laughs> Yours are powdered. Mine are right along with my milk powdered. <laughs> powder but yeah so that's i mean that's basically you know that's about it and we went to the movies and we saw brave today oh how was, was it that? good it was so us the dad is like red hair and just like beating everybody up <laughs> and then there's a little red-headed princess it's the mama that's supposed to beat and everybody up and it's the mama that's telling her what she shouldn't do you know you can't do this and no you can't do that and we both look at each other that is so you that is so you so although there's a problem then what's the problem well Tierra now believes that she should have three little brothers. Oh hell no! Well, I'm sure that DJ and I said I don't know where you're going to get them from, but I'm sure DJ's all for practicing how to get those. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently they practiced five times this weekend. Right? <laughs> yeah, but if she gives them the kids, she ain't going to get no punches for them. Well, hell, right. the last, last night, night. <laughs> last night at karaoke, DJ was like, "I want them to play some cowboy songs because I don't want no vessel ass up in the air. I want some riding cowboy." The next thing I knew, DJ was laying on the floor on his back, pretending he's always laying like on the floor, like cowboy, up. or like someone was riding cowboy him. 
Yeah, and then, oh, we need to get that other picture, because there's a great picture of me, and I don't know what her name is. And he, <laughs> <laughs> wow, dirty whore. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, yeah, it's Angie. Angie, okay. Angie and I, and he's in the middle of us, and that's all you see is his face, and it's almost like one of those silent mic moments where he's like, like, <laughs> so but cool. These two, are on, these two are on DJ's lap. Yes. Ooh. And yeah, and he was like right here, booby level, and all you see is his little face. That's all. I know. So funny. <laughs> So he don't we have somebody it. on the phone? Yes. Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, I was just waiting for her oh, catch up. Okay. That's all. She's waiting patiently because she loves the show. I know. Thank you so much for pimping us out today. I saw you pimping us out everywhere today. Freaky. Freaky. <laughs> we, I miss you. I love you. I miss you too. Has your, has your uh, situation changed at all? Are they being nicer to you or do we need to come up there and beat some ass? Um, I'm at a different place now, and yeah. they are fabulous. Good. Good. And they wisely put me in a room all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think it's as big as my living room at home, so it's kind of nice. And, okay. uh, and, and, good, and good pharmaceuticals. Yes, yes. It's kind of hard, though, because um, they really make me sleepy, so I spend a lot of the time just kind of like, blah, 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 you know? <laughs> For those that don't know, our dear Freaky Freak Arena, the day sh- after she got home from Las Vegas, had to have surgery on her foot. And then they moved her into a rehab center so she can gain her yeah. strength and learn to take care of herself when she gets home. So right. Right. pretty serious foot I'm, surgery. I'm doing well. I'm really independent here. I mean, they are just basically making sure I can get around on this knee scooter without, you know, breaking my other foot and and building up my strength and all that. So, But I'm coming along nicely. I um, haven't seen the surgery side or anything. I go through the doctor on the ninth. I'm not really trying to look at it. But my best friend wants me to have the doctor take a picture so she can see what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's fine, but I'm not looking. <laughs> I don't want to sounds know. like something I would ask for. Uh, well, you know what? You did put that before picture up on Facebook. Yeah. So maybe now you do need to put the after photo up there. Uh, yeah. That before God. picture was awful. It was scary. Yeah. I know. Another doctor came and saw me in the hospital and mentioned something about my seriously deformed foot. And I'm like, oh, I guess it was pretty bad. Because, <laughs> 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 you know, I had been living with it. So you just kind of, you know, you just keep going. You know, I live by myself. I take care of myself. So you just, you know, you keep on trucking and don't really think about what you're actually going through you know when i was in the army i had a drill sergeant tell me that i was going to motivate myself right out of the army and that's exactly what happened to me girl you're going to motivate yourself right into a scooter before you need to be in one. <laughs> oh hell no 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 i'm i'm definitely uh you know not going to be of that mind because i definitely don't want to go through this i mean my other foot doesn't have the injury that the the operated foot has but it has the tendencies to do what that foot did. So, you know, I'm really keeping an eye on it. And once I get walking on this other foot, the doctor's hoping that it'll kind of alleviate some of the stress on the quote-unquote good foot. Right. But, yeah, you know, it was it was an eye-opener to go to Bash and not be able to dance and stuff. But I was just so glad oh, to girl. be there. Oh, girl, wait a minute. Wait, did she say she? it was hard to go to Bash and not dance? This girl... Well, not dance on my own without a scooter. Oh, <laughs> she never stopped <laughs> dancing, okay? I was there. Scooter dancing. That's right. And I she had to teach the Swedish boys how to, how, to, how to motorboat. That should be <laughs> an right. Olympic sport. Motorboating? motorboating? I agree. It should. There is a technique to it. Kelly guy says he wins gold in the breaststroke. So we have a great announcement to make uh, with you on the phone because yeah. starting next week, you are going to be uh, developing a new segment for us. Which yeah. we're so excited about because we never have time, so we need someone to keep us in line. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big job. That is a very big <laughs> job. That'll be your job to keep us up to date and in line. <laughs> That's right. And uh, the w- what? What are we calling your segment? We are calling it News from the Fatosphere. Woo! <laughs> and tell us a little and bit you know what I'm you're not afraid of the F word. <laughs> tell us a little bit about what your plans are, Freaky. Well, my plan is to basically try to keep up news, you know, what's going on in the BBW community. I mean, regular news, too, but mainly stuff that impacts our global BBW community. Right. You know, and also kind of, you know, like you guys, my goal is to keep everybody together, not have us all divide up into all these different groups and events, you know. So kind of work towards that. It's just, hey, we're all the same. we all have the same direction. We all want to be accepted. We all want to just live our lives and be able to do what we want to do without people getting hung up on the fact that we're fat. Right. Amen. You know. 
So, you know, anything that affects our community, you know, we want to be able to put it out there and let people know what's going on. Like the lady, they told her she was pregnant because she wanted to dance in the cage and she was yeah. Right. I mean, we're yeah. a bunch of crap, right? Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Just stuff like that, you know, I, I think something that will develop as we go along, but that's definitely... Uh, our leaping off point. I'm very excited. Me because too. I've always wanted too. to cover this, and I try to cover it, but we just sometimes run out of time. But we will make sure to make time for you. And we're Yay! I'm trying to get her here, guys. I'm trying to move her ass here yep. after she gets done with this foot thing. So. Actually, some little things are falling into place, so next year that that might actually be happening. Woo-hoo! Right. Yeah. I just got to get a job and get over there. I've got a place to stay when I get there, and so we'll see what happens. All right. We're excited you're going to be a regular part of the show, honey. I am, T. Since I started listening, I'm like, I am going to be a part of this, damn it. (laughs) (laughs) This is my home. Everyone wants a piece of us. I know. It's great. Uh, Now, you do know that. I want a piece. I want to be a part of the whole thing. (laughs) Now, you you do know when, uh, for you to get a regular place at the mic, you do have to bring snacks every week. Because that's how mama got in. (laughs) Yeah. You must bring them. Well, moms. you know, I know a lot of people that know how to make really good snacks. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> snacks are yummy. I'm excited. I miss you guys, though. Well, we, we miss you, too. last week was I wasn't quite up to speed enough to, you know, get my stuff picked up and listen to it, so I'm feeling a lot better, so. Well, we're... We go along here. I should be more and more normal. We're very glad that you're doing good, so that's that's great. Thank you. Yeah. And we love I you. I love you guys. And we yeah. can't wait Keep to hear rocking. from you next week. Yeah, Absolutely. we'll. I guess we'll let you know as far as the time for her regular segment, yeah. and we'll work all that out at, at our meeting this week. Yeah, and but, I'm sure I'll be bombarding Alexia, you know, with questions and you know, kind of getting things uh, shaped up the way she wants them, and we'll get it going. Yeah, don't you mm-hmm. got to make it right for Mama Bear over there? That's right. <laughs> all right. I know who the boss is. <laughs> it's so the so way. And the silent boss. Silent, <laughs> silent boss. <laughs> I'll be your Jay Silent Bob. You can be my not so hetero Silent Bob. Bob. Somebody called him Silent Bob. And yeah. I just want to point out that we have not seen any bras tonight. <coughs> Wait, I put a I put a bottle in my bra. Is it still there? Oh no, it's not there. That doesn't count. Oh. Hey, we have almost. The same. you're really talking about Sierra's bra anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. We ooh, that's a pretty one. Look at that. It looks exactly like all my other oh. ones, only it's beige. <laughs> right. It looks really shiny from my screen, and it could be the fact that it's time for me to have meds. Ooh, yeah. Because <laughs> 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 as soon as I deal with it's you guys, I'm hitting the call button and saying, it's time. Okay. <laughs> We're glad you stayed, you know, kept your meds off and long enough to talk to us. Yeah. That's I didn't awesome. want to get up here and speak gibberish or fall asleep mid-sentence, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey, we will be in touch. We love I'll you. I love and you guys, and I will talk to you next week, if not sooner. Okay, okay bye. Bye. Good. bye. 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 <laughs> She's so awesome. Fun. She is the best. I cannot wait for her segment because we've be been great. trying to cover news. We and every once in a while we do, and we and always yeah. say we got to talk about this this week, and then we never do. Oh, we I get know. so carried away with everything else. That so we I'm hoping that she that. will keep us all up to date. She with what's will, going on and if we and got a regular time for her to call in, we know we won't miss any of the good news stories. Damn so. straight. Yeah. Um, you're listening to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on Vegas on that radio dot com. Dot com. The final frontier of free speech. Bitches. Hey, if you want your own show. That's right. Call uh, 702-796-1230. You can Skype your show in. You can pre-tape your show and send it in, and we will play it on Vegas on that radio alongside of ours. You should check out some of the other great shows on the station. Uh, one of my favorites is Pure Dope Radio, which is a DJ. He's Geek. awesome, and he Geek plays Lounge. some great music. The Geek, Lounge. The Geek Lounge. The Geek Lounge. I Those need to come in here and right? with me some much. Love yeah, the Geek Lounge. Mm-hmm. If you like electronic music, there's the Chill Zone on Oof. Saturday nights. What a random And I just have a one really hard pending question. What did Vendetta say about the condom sizes? Oh, oh you <laughs> know what? Let, let, me, let me get back to it. He said regular Scroll size, back. I think. I think he said something about he uses what they give for free on the campus. Oh, free oh, condom. <laughs> <laughs> about Promoting safe sex on college campuses. That's right. right. And you should. If Keeping they, oh, the syphilis absolutely. rate down. Okay, Absolutely. so uh, on the Carol Burnett thing, I checked out yeah. who it was that posted that she was dead, and not the greatest reliable source on Twitter. Well, well let's did you do a did you do a Google everybody search else for did. Carol Burnett? Everybody else did. Um, uh, DJ and Freaky and Wendy is Carol Burnett and dead? <laughs> Dave, <laughs> do we know <laughs> they wha- all how checked? So is she and she is and no they, no she's not. There's dead. There's been no announcement that she is dead. Siri wow. says result still alive. 
Nice. <laughs> nice. You finally got that bitch to work, huh? Yeah. Carol Burnett, date of death. Result, still alive. Nice. Okay, well, I feel a little better because I really like oh, I Burnett. love Thank that. You, that would be sad, I think, if she died. Okay, so we have a story from a friend of ours. Okay, we cool. sure do. And uh, so she's she's, she's so just awesome. talking to us normal about how her wrist hurts. She's got a hairline <laughs> fracture in her no, wrist. No, let's just go on with it. It's Olga. Olga, Olga true. Strabonovich. Okay. Olga Strabonovich. Uh, she's just, uh, you know, my wrist hurt this morning when I got up. I went to the doctor. It's a hairline fracture. And he says, well, what have you been doing? Anything strenuous? She goes, well, uh, you know, I had a date last night. And Sierra says, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, hold on. Did you break <laughs> your wrist fucking? <laughs> well, 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 our first off. thought was when they asked if she'd been doing any strenuous exercise that she'd broken her wrist. Our first thought immediately was, did you break it masturbating? Yeah, that's right? what I thought that's you were going to say. That's the very first thought That's what had. I did, yeah. too, yeah. And well, we said it at the same time, masturbating? And uh, no. Then I asked her, did you seriously break your wrist fucking? And she goes, yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> nice. Oh, no. wow. Olga broke her wrist fucking. fucking. Okay, now I want to know is how hardcore. she broke it. Was it because she was giving um, a, she a hand job? Or I was know. she on her she hands? I think it was the move. She said it got a little uh, strenuous. Rough. She likes rough. it rough. Yeah. Like I do. Oh. She does have a full what? rusty uniform or in her garage where the gardener the can find fuck it. Out. She probably yeah. got hit in the wrist with a riding crop. Or was she handcuffed and, you know, <coughs> tried to get out and no you know, one that'll do it. You know what? She I'm didn't cough it up. Ask. No. I ain't afraid. Where the hell's all She about? just said it, it got <laughs> very rough. It got rough. So I Likely I, what it was though is he was grabbing her wrists and throwing her around by them. That's always you've so had much you fun. know you've had those you've had those times when you're just getting flipped every which way like every f- t- ten minutes or so it's like mm-hmm. flip I love flip, that mm-hmm. flip. I love that you get into positions you never even imagined I you're like oh it. that's what the back of my knee looks like <laughs> 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 like wait 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 I can't breathe <laughs> <laughs> my boobs my oh, boobs I hate that when your boobs are <laughs> and your head's your head's hitting the, the headboard. Your boobs are, you can't breathe. It's like, <gasps> you better move down a little. On the bed, I hate, yeah. I love that. So I, I went to, breathe I got I to go visit my mom this week. And not only did I visit my mom, but I visited the entire family. It was like a family <laughs> reunion at my mom's house and food. It nice. was awesome. That's oh, awesome. How could you not and my handsome brother, of course, was there, which you're He's in so love with. so gorgeous. Um, but so um, we're, after everybody leaves and my mom and I were watching TV and stuff, she says, uh, we're talking about these women on the show that she loves. She loves the show Merlin and Netflix. Now she has Netflix. So she gets to watch them all back to back. She goes, this is all I do, Emma. I just sit here and I drink uh, and I, <laughs> she know, drinks. And I, I s- sit and drink <laughs> and I watch TV and Merlin all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about some of the girls and she is in love with, uh, she's not in love, but she thinks that the evil uh, M- Morgan, Morgan or whatever is, the evil she's beautiful and she doesn't like the blonde girl at all right (laughs) and so the conversation was up about women and she goes you know you can't even tell if women are pretty anymore they change their eye they fix their face they fix their boobs they even fix their pussy they do (laughs) how does she know about this they get the pussy stitch up honey i'm too loose it's okay i go get it fixed And now, then, do you keep a straight face when she's telling you this no! shit, or do you start laughing? <laughs> no. I laugh my ass off, and I pick up my phone. And I gotta write this down. <laughs> the be- you get a couple of beers in her, and this woman is hilarious. Oh, she's hilarious, like without that. Right. So yeah. I've known her for a long time too. So and Silent Mike came up with, well, you know, sometimes maybe you just put a drawstring in there and just make it as tight as you want when you want, loosen it up when you want, like swimming oh, trunks. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. No, you do that with their legs. Wide open, it's loose. Put together, it's tight. Wide open, it's loose. Put together, it's tight. And you can vary the <laughs> distance of the knees. Before, after, before, <laughs> after. Do, after. Some, do some exercises. You're Kegels. Fine. My man, I, I'm I'm so enamored by him. He scares me when he drives though on the freeway, because he's, he's, he's a very a emotional. No, no, no. He's an emotional <laughs> driver. If he if he gets emotionally charged while he's driving, I grab the holding <laughs> the <thing>. ocean <laughs> handle. Yeah. The yeah. um, only motherfucker of God I'm gonna die. And on the way here today, I put my <laughs> put the seatbelt on. He goes, "Do I scare you when I drive?" And I went, <laughs> "Only if you get mad." <laughs> <laughs> she suddenly comes be- very humble. <laughs> <laughs> only when you're mad. Baby. Only when you get mad, baby. <laughs> 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 but other than that, you're a great driver. You're a terrific driver. You're a wonderful driver. But I mean, all all week long, he's been making me crack up and and laugh and just have it d- during sex, <laughs> after sex, 
It's great. He I'm makes you laugh during sex. That's not a really good time to laugh. Don't tell nobody else that. <laughs> I think I think he does it on purpose because my muscles contract when oh, I laugh. You know what? I I had a boyfriend <laughs> when you that, sneeze and cough. No, as well. yeah, I would say I had a boyfriend who used to love when I when I'd have a cough, a cold, <coughs> because you get all tired <laughs> yeah. when you cough. Guys love it. Wow. So the only other story I had, we have uh, the person who gave me the story uh, right here in the studio. Uh, we went and had lunch the other day, and I didn't get to tell these last week because it was before last week. But um, it was an instance where Silent Mike made me hilari- uh, hilariously laugh out loud. <laughs> and it was when you were talking to the girl named Rainy. <laughs> and I said, wait, wait, wait. Her name is Rainy? Like Rainy Day? Like Rainy, yeah. Like yeah. Rainy Day. And... I'm I'm like yeah it's like story Is but not stormy but not as passionate. <laughs> 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 and Silent Mike says, well at least her name wasn't Dribble. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has been cracking me up all oh week. Somebody put so funny in his funny. Wheaties. That's oh awesome. I know he's been awesome. That's great. Love him to death. Totally so on point, Silent Mike. Kudos, kudos. <laughs> Get it on, Silent Bob. Having a, having a great week. I love hanging out with my Silent Mike. The mattress thrasher. The mattress thrasher. You know what? <laughs> Siri Siri calls him Siri. Silent Mike mattress thrasher. Does she? On uh, <laughs> Olga <laughs> Stepanovich's phone. <laughs> the mattress thrasher. When she says, call Mike, it says, calling Silent Mike mattress thrasher. <laughs> okay. Well, if you have to be known for something, Big Daddy, that should be it. Okay. It's awesome. So that's my catch up. We have a special reason for having Calypso in the studio today. We do. We do. Are you going to tell them what the reason is? Tell no, them what the reason is. No, you're going to tell them what the reason is. Am I going to tell them what the reason is? Yeah. Well, kitties, Calypso is leaving the building. Me and Elvis, we're out of here. I, uh, I'm officially leaving the show. Oh. Yeah. We missed you. Yeah, it's been a long time. Co- well, just because I'm leaving the show don't mean you bitches ain't going to be like, you know, g- come get a drink with me or some shit. Don't act like you forget, <laughs> uh, you know, fall <laughs> off the face of the fucking earth or some shit. Because then y'all are going to piss me off and I'm going to show up where the fuck y'all are at and make yeah, some You know where to find get us. Get all fucking ghetto and shit and get all crazy. <laughs> shit, we're, we're sitting there having uh, dinner the other day and she says, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about moving. I'm like, to fucking where? Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> They're right. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, so I'm like, well, how about New Mexico? Fuck no. I Florida? Mexico. Was Vendetta? Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, I told her I was thinking about Portland, and she's like, Washington, Oregon? I said, yes, Washington, Oregon. No, Maine. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, there's yeah. a Portland, Maine. Yes, I'm so not yeah. really sure. Um, I, I kind of, I, I had to kind of work on my kids a little bit, you know, because they don't want to leave here at all. But then once they saw like how big the zoo was and how cheap it was, that sold them. I mean, had I known the that, th- had what I known that, I'd have been like, you know, hey, check out the zoo like a year ago. <laughs> it would have been good. Yeah, because I did mention San Diego because then it would be cool to have somebody Dude, go to San Diego. Dude, you know what? Right. I would love to go to San Diego except for the fact that it's way too fucking expensive to live expensive there. to live there. Way too. Like, I'd like, have you guys like, come visit like me Washington in my tent Oregon's on the Oregon's going to be any cheaper. It is it's much it's cheaper. Much cheaper. Much, cheaper. Yeah. much yeah. cheaper. San Diego. Yeah. Is my sister keeps trying to get me to go up there and she she keeps like she'll tell me there's a house next door open for again th- where we moved and it's yeah. really cheap. Vendetta, I'm sorry that you didn't hear it firsthand, but Calypso is leaving the show officially. He got commercials. <gasps> oh. oh, sorry, Vendetta. And everybody's very sad. Uh, Diamond Save said no. Say it so. Wendy of Neverland <laughs> says crud. Aw. Well, I'll be back in every now and again. I'll come yeah. and fuck with these bitches because you know I can do that. Yes, and, you can. Um, I'll just kick whoever's in the seat out for the day. <laughs> <laughs> just tell them, you know what? I think your your services are no longer needed. Unless you're going to crawl under the desk. Oh, Cider <laughs> with Rosa says this is so, so sad. Who did? Cider uh, cider with Rosa. I love that name, by the way. Right? That's w- I think that's our gay people. The other really? lesbians. Really? Sh- really? I think so. I don't know. Is that Vendetta is inventing? <laughs> Damn, this is like watching TV. They bring back a character just to kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> it was her choice, Vendetta. I swear, it, it was her choice. It was. It was. Just, you know, I've just it's got. Like I've got TV. so much stuff going on right now that you have your kids full I just, time. Y- yes, yes, Work because full time. Oh yeah, because their father's a giant DB. If y'all hadn't known that on the previous shows. Um, but um, I've just got so much going on, and I just don't have the time and the. 
the equity <laughs> to deal with you know the show right now and you know it's just it's not that I don't love you girls because I do very much um but I just you know it's just something you have to do right now it so and that's that'll be the case for Life all of us one of these full days of you know involving and changing I think yeah. Sierra, Sierra said she, we're gonna make it like menudo that's right we're gonna be like <laughs> menudo we're gonna rotate in new people rotate out old people that's how it's gonna work it'll be okay so faces. when you hit 38 you have to leave <laughs> Fuck, uh, you should be done. gone. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I'm the only one left. Um, <laughs> but it's um, Sierra's Power Hour. <laughs> this month is my birthday, by the way. Yes, it is. So mm-hmm. don't think for one second that any of you are getting out of it. All right. Because I'm 39. I have to hold on to the 30s as long as I can because I don't know if I'm ready for 40. Oh, I'm like 29, like for the 14th time. <laughs> I'm Ooh, 32. Honey, you're going to be all 40 baby. tomorrow. My honey's going to be 40 tomorrow. Ooh. Out 40. Wow. No more 30s for you, honey. You know uh-huh. his, his dick's going to stop working. <laughs> There's blue pills for that. That's There's not blue true. Pills. Yeah, oh, no, shit. That's not true. not true at all. I can tell you that I from know. experience. My man's over 40. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. She says, sure. sure. Uh, I'll tell you. I, I got more uh. sex drive now, and I am wetter than I ever was mm. in the than I ever was earlier. Do you squish Seriously. when you walk? Um, after I've had sex. <laughs> Cider with Rosa is somewhere where it's five in the fucking morning. Where, where the hell where are the you? Where the hell are they? They must be like in overseas. overseas somewhere. Well, fi- where are you? Tell us where you are at. We will come awesome. visit you. <laughs> right? Guam, maybe? London? Guam. London's only like, like eight, nine hours, eight right? Hours. Eight hours. Mm-hmm. Okay, so wait. How, it's five in the, 5.30 in the morning there? It's five, five in the morning. Well, yeah. it's got to be Bristol, 5.30. Five England. Bristol, England. England. Oh! Oh! Bristol, England. Bristol, England. Can you type in an accent on our Ustream? Because <laughs> it makes my nipples hard. Uh, <laughs> it's not much that doesn't, you dirty whore. <laughs> <laughs> but it does blanch. It does. <laughs> that was awesome. That is fantastic. Oh. Oh. Speaking of dirty whores, I got used like one today. And you loved so every awesome. minute of it. Yeah. Every fucking minute. I spent 18 days on my period this last cycle. And Dang. I want to tell you something. You fucking jinx me. Because remember, I tell you, I'm like clockwork. Mm-hmm. Now I'm you're a late. Week late. Uh-huh. I was You've 23 days late this was last month. Did I you was like, two months. Did you go buy a pregnancy test? I bought four. <laughs> <laughs> And there are two in each one, too? No, I went to the dollar store and got four for $4. (laughs) Well, that's like I keep thinking, okay, like, okay, so I'm late. And then I go, okay, my eggs are hard-boiled. And then I go back and go, but I had protective sex since my last period. And I'm like... Yeah, my my tubes are tied Mm -hmm. too, but a certain someone that shall name name Name. remain nameless in this room, Sierra, likes to tell me a story about someone related to her that got knocked up while her tubes were tied. That's okay because I kept. Yeah, I I hear that story. When hers was late, that you never know, you could be preggers. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that was. I was two months late, so we knew this next time if it came was going to be a big one. Um, But so you didn't have a makeup sex, huh? Oh my fucking god. Last night. Last night he brought me to literally a screaming orgasm. That's and not the first time though. Right? And I we had those drinks house last were you night? at? We were at my house. <laughs> oh Jesus, you have people at your house. No, we had no people at the house. Oh, that's good. It was great. We had the house to ourselves. And uh so he literally brought me to a screaming my entire body was like the exorcist ruse off the bed orgasm. <laughs> And then I got done and I was giggling. I was so it's like giddy. Poltergeist. <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly. I was giggling sex so drunk. hard. I sex was drunk. Very sex drunk. It's been and a minute. And then this afternoon we're watching the Olympics and he goes, it's a mango pause break time. And so we went upstairs and we had more sex and the sex was so satisfying that we fell asleep in the sexual position that we were in oh, that's together cool. with his penis still inside me and everything. We woke up like an hour later, both of us snoring, penis still on me. Drool all like, up in her oh, eyes and shit. Oh, it was. Well, we were kind of in this weird like, so I'm laying this way. I'm laying down the bed from head to foot like you would normally and he's laying sideways on the bed with his penis inside me and we've got our legs kind of crisscross uh, I know what you're doing kind okay. of interwoven and it's like oh and we fell asleep like that and woke up like that <laughs> and then <sighs> and then we kind of rolled over and separated for a little while and I said are you ready to get up and he goes yeah I think my uh, my mango induced uh, what was it my mango induced drowsiness is done <laughs> it's time <laughs> to get up it is so, so much cute that she sex. thinks everything he says is cute uh, yeah that's true but, but I do cute. the same thing with Simon. I know. Yeah. 
I know. So been there. Maybe that's it. the why I fuck. I can't have a relationship. <laughs> I ain't thinking nothing you say in this cute. <laughs> fuck. I, you know, don't talk. Okay, just just don't just talk. Just fuck me and go home. <laughs> fuck me. Wait, wait, wait. If you're still there in the morning, go make the fucking coffee. Now, from what <laughs> I understand, in relationships, when when the relationship starts to turn a little bit, then everything he says will start to be annoying. It will. Yes. And then I know it's that yeah, there's be. something going on that I need to like. Fix they open it. their mouth and it sounds like fingers yeah. on a chalkboard. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I've been divorced twice. I'll tell you, that's exactly what happens. It's so true. It is so true or like the Wendy teacher on Charlie it's Brown under your skin right <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, Wendy of Neverland says so straight folks scissor too huh cool <laughs> <laughs> yes straight folks scissor too Wendy Oh, dirty God. lesbian I whore I love Wendy a kind of guy wants to know do you really want to get pregnancy tests at the dollar store yeah they work uh, yes wait, they wait, actually wait, they work, work. Wait, yes. wait, wait. Vendetta says I get mine at the dollar store <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute! Wait a minute! You know those baskets? Those baskets I made for Fan Fest? The condoms in them came from the dollar store. So <laughs> you're responsible for all sorts of fucked up pregnancies. Maybe, right? <laughs> Maybe. And then v- Vendetta says, "Whenever I feel sad, I get one, and I use it to remind myself at least I'm not pregnant." <laughs> <laughs> Can you just imagine That's that awesome. pregnancy test when a guy pisses on it? Can you just ima- can you hear that conversation? What, if it it what the fuck black. is going on? <laughs> what if it got a plus side? <laughs> what, did it, what would you fucking do if it showed a plus side? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> All CNN gender check. You know what? I'd be like cha ching! I'm rich. Exactly. <laughs> I'd sell that shit to the Discovery Channel. Be like, look, the pregnant man. <laughs> really, this time I wasn't a woman before. <laughs> now I really am a man. Cali guy is going to miss you very, very much. He, well, don't act like you're never going to see me yeah. again, Cali guy. And it's not like you ever see me now because you, you're a self-loathing bastard because you never let me know when you're in town. But I mean, other than that, <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Oh, you don't have to ask him when he's in town because this one's face says it all. Um, This one is the one who rarely texts anybody. That's what, you know what? When I when she doesn't answer a text is when I know he's here. That's right. right. Honestly. That's exactly. true. Yes. We, that's very true. We that's know that. We all know that. All know Callie that. guy, if you are in town for my birthday, please, please, please plan to come with us because I would love to have you there. When is your birthday? August 30th. August 30th. He, he won't be. He won't be. No. He's, he's, he's suck. He's running overtime. He's got to go back and feed his beautiful snake. Whatever. So I actually I have more to a uh, catch up. Are you done with your catch up? Let's see. Screaming orgasm, 18 days of period. Screaming Mango orgasm. Mango induced sleep. Um, yeah. Pretty so good. so like, yeah. all of you know that I have a lot of restrictions with my sexual activity, right? <laughs> <laughs> she can't. Or issues as we call them. <laughs> right, or issues. Right, she I, doesn't I won't, eat. I won't fuck right after I've eaten. She doesn't eat pussy. Because I do not want to throw up all over the, my man. <laughs> She'll go with you, but she's not going to like your pussy. Right, I'll go yeah. with you, but I won't like your pussy. I don't do morning sex for, for some uh, reason. She's got to wash everything this first. Week. That's right. Wait, 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 time out. Back wait, 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 wait. You had morning sex this week? I got attacked this week. I love morning he, sex. You know what? You know what? My, my silent Mike was thinking. He's like, you know what? I'm a backdoor this bitch and she ain't never going to know. You know what? This is how I feel about morning sex. I don't mind having morning sex, but li- this is seriously. The orgasm is muted. It's like it's still really? asleep. Yes. I, I can mm-hmm. have morning sex. I like morning sex. But the orgasm, it, it's m- the only word I can use is muted. It's not no. as str- It's like it's sleeping and I'm we're trying to wake it's up. <laughs> can you wake my coffee, you, Lou? Do you I relate to that, Alexia? Oh, I that? Got, I you relate to that? Does your hoo-ha no, still stay no. asleep when the rest of you is awake? <laughs> For me, it's more. it's like morning breath to me. <laughs> you know, it's oh, 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 your shit, and like, then you wow. say, "It's a fuck self- my fat <laughs> pussy." It's a, it's a it's a total self conscious thing. That's why my shit has to be clean before I get into bed, just in case I'm we're gonna the same have sex. Way. I'm the same way. You know, I've got to be clean down there. And Silent Mike, <laughs> I said, "Oh, let me. I have to get up, and get in the shower." He goes, "I can't wait." And Ooh, right good in. for you, okay. Silent Mike. Get it on. I will. Ca- I, I was attacked. I, I, I had an offer that of that this week too in the morning. Morning sex. Yeah, but he always wants to do it before the fucking sun comes up. I'm like, I'm asleep. Come on now, really? <laughs> That's when you put your ass in the air and you become the vessel. Mm-hmm. Now you know there are a lot of people who have the fantasy of fucking people who are asleep. I yeah, would love take to a cold shower. I would love and lay there up. and pretend you're dead. I've heard of those people. <laughs> See, I would. Lo- I cold would like shower? that. Oh yeah, because then their body is really cold, and they they have a thing like for fucking dead people. So they want you to just lay there after taking a cold ice cold shower and pretend like you're don't move, and they want to fuck you. Oh yeah, there's it's mm-hmm. like yeah. How about well, I would like called? to be woken What's up that, that way. Necrophilia. 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 Yes. All right. Um, I didn't want to say it wrong because this one will make fun of me. <laughs> 
<laughs> our uh, Olga Stepanovich like has a has a story that that she dated oh. some guy and he asked her to get into a bathtub full of ice. Yeah, he had a bathtub full of ice. I'd have been like <laughs> holding on to my kidneys and shit. Like why? <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to the car for something real quick. <laughs> and my scalpel's in the car. Wow! Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Wow! I did that. Uh, I did that at well rounded. Actually, I woke Callie guy. Sex? Yeah, no. You had ice. And <laughs> no, I. Dad. She tried to remove his kidney with no, a I spoon. Woke Callie guy up <laughs> way earlier than he's used to getting up because I was horny as fuck, and I was like, "Guess who woke up horny this morning?" He goes, "You," and then fucked me. That <laughs> was great. I love morning sex. Morning sex is the best. I've always liked it. It starts your day off favorite. I mean, I'll do it, but it's not my favorite. It's like Woody's. It's the breakfast of sex champions. There's a bunch of (laughs) there's a bunch of reasons. Not only is it the whole oh I got to get my shit clean first in the morning pussy breath. It's awesome. Yeah, morning pussy breath. Ew. But it's also I usually first thing in the morning. First thing I have to do is pee. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. almost, almost invariably, the first thing I have to do is pee. And you don't yeah. want to pee in the bed. Right. I've, you know, I've been... <laughs> I got <laughs> a sheet for you, though. I've been known to say, hang on a second, and go pee, and wash up real quick before oh, I come too. back. Oh, me too. Me too. I'm always oh, going to do that. But yeah. he wouldn't even let me do that. What if she would have peed on you? You know what? <laughs> then I'd have been like, nah, 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 nah. Think about this, though. He wouldn't if you have, have sex when you really have to pee... Your shit is tighter because you're doing Kegels that you uh, while you're <laughs> yeah, at the Yeah, but you know what? Because you got to hold that shit. I would be, sc- I'd be scared once you get to that point and you're coming. You're, you I'd pee? be scared of <laughs> being oh, all yeah. over no, everything. No, I'm just talking about just plain intercourse like you're trying to hold your pee in. Yeah. I, think, I think some guys would be okay with it. He would be okay with it. <laughs> he would. No? He loves just me for everything. Just call it a job right? hazard. Wow. Oh, you'd hazard. let her go pee? Oh, and okay. you know what? I can't have sex without kissing either. So, you know, really? you, I can't have, you can't be having no morning breath. Go brush your fucking teeth first. Like, please, seriously. Or grab a mint from the nightstand. Oh, I can I have sex know. without kissing. Oh, no. I, lo- I, I, don't I love to all. kiss. Mm-mm. I'm a 50-50, and I don't care about morning breath because I like morning sex. So. Yeah, well, you're I, a dirty hoe. Yeah. <laughs> That's because your no. morning breath generally smells like penis. But the thing is that you got morning breath, and he's got morning breath. You just have morning breath together. Oh. Yeah, but what if his morning breath is really, really bad? What if Ooh. yours is really, really bad? Right. <laughs> I'm going to make sure Crest is my best friend in the morning. <laughs> or <laughs> aqua fresh or cold right. day. Right. I'm the same way. My shit's got to be clean hammer. and my breath has to be fresh. Mm. But, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Even if I got to chew a fucking a lifesaver cl- real quick. She's a clean, dirty whore. That's right. <laughs> I am a well. clean, dirty whore. My shit, if, if, you're, if, you, if you're going downtown, trust me, the shit is fucking clean. It's time to practice. Fuck my, fat pussy. Fuck my you fat know, uh, pussy. Diamond Dave no, don't, post don't change this. Don't change this up. Diamond Dave <laughs> posted. Yes, yes. F star star star. My fat p. Yes, star star star. She can't say it without laughing. Right. <laughs> she can't even think about it without laughing. We wanted. We were like telling <laughs> Olga about this story about how she has to practice saying it, and Come she on. couldn't even tell the story. Alexia. Fuck my fat pussy. Wendy of Neverland says Saturday morning. Stop it. Wendy of Neverland says Saturday morning is the best time for sex in our house. My 19 year old usually gets the baby up, feeds her, so we can sleep in. Okay, Okay. so now say it. Because I've never heard you say it. Fuck my. <laughs> she can't do it. That's how we started it. Trying that to get her to say it. No, you know, say it all. No, no, no. You got to say it all together. You know, like when you're fucking I'm somebody, you go, "Oh yeah, baby, just fuck that big fat pussy." She can't do it. One of my catch ups was last week was Silent Mike was Two doing weeks. me, and he was doing me good, and I was, and he was talking dirty, talking dirty, nasty, you, dirty. You like, like you like my, my cock? cock? Oh Listen. shit! Yeah, yeah. Really? Nasty. And in my head, I said, "Oh yeah, baby, you fuck my." <laughs> 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 she can't say it. So we kept trying to coach her saying, fuck my fat pussy. She, she needs can say, cards. fuck my and fat <sighs> pussy. And but you know what? Just record it over and over again. She could just hit the tape player <laughs> on the side of the bed. It'd be yeah, great. But the problem is, is that he's fucking her, but he's going to hear me go, fuck my fat pussy, baby. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I'll have Siri say it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Will, will she say that, though? It's not the same, Actually, Alexia. I don't think Siri will curse. Will she? No, I, um, no. I, but she, <laughs> get, like, sh- I have she cursed at her. Story. I have cursed at her, and she asked me if I kissed my mom with that mouth. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's shit. great. Let's see if I can get her to do it. This is so funny. Fuck you, Siri. Hold on. Siri's talking. She just says, oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell, tell 
her, fuck my fat pussy. <laughs> fuck my fat pussy, Siri. She says, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. That's awesome. Thank you, Siri. Too funny. That's the you are You are my favorite friend, Siri. (laughs) That's That's a riot. I love Siri. I Uh, do. Hey, you're listening to the Curvaceous Spanning of Sin City. Of course, you guys already know that on VegasAllNightRadio.com. We podcast our show. You can find us on iTunes. Subscribe to us and automatically download every time you open up your iTunes. And if you have actually, and now if you have the new iPhone, the the 4S, the the podcast app, download the podcast app for the iPhone, and it will auto-download the podcast straight to your phone. You don't even have to connect to your (laughs) iTunes account. (laughs) Mom was like, I don't have the 4S, honey. (laughs) <laughs> Mama needs an upgrade. All right, I'm going to tell you guys all, I have to get a real phone this yes, week. Yes, you do. You know why? Because she needs to put it in a pan full of pennies. <laughs> my, my my ringer's not working, so she told me to uh, put it put it in an aluminum pan with pennies so it vibrated. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I could hear my oh, phone. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's what she's got to do. But you guys, seriously, like, I hate learning new electronic things, okay? This is oh. the easiest electronic device oh, you'll You know what? On. It's not the fact that I think it's hard and I can't do it. I just don't want to take the time to learn that new thing. You won't need to take any time to learn nope. it. It's very it'll straightforward. Be, it'll be, yeah. And you can get it through Cricket now. Oh, this is very stressful. Prepay. This yeah. is very stressful. Anyway, so uh, we podcast <laughs> well, and we we'll, know. We'll all go with you and we'll hold your hand. And yeah, we know <laughs> that we have tons of podcast listeners. And we yes, want to say do. thank you so much. And to the one dude in Japan. Awesome. <laughs> oh, actually, you guys. Actually, I think we're up to about four in Japan. <laughs> I got to tell you something funny, though. Really quick. I forgot to tell you what I did by catch up when I did that scene the other night for that reality show. So I'm walking through the, the set and I hear, sweet cheeks. And I look. Hey, you did my brother's bachelor party a few <laughs> weeks ago. Do you remember me? That's awesome. Yeah, it was so That's funny. That's awesome. I didn't remember the guy for shit, but I... Yeah, I remember. It was a great party. <laughs> That's awesome. So, now, I want I want to ask, and you don't have to answer because I know that you're under contract not to, but this is a reality show, yet they called you in and had bunches of people on the side to do stuff for a... Re, uh, quote unquote reality show is reality show really real um, we were part of the competition that the people had to do okay you know like every reality show or most gotcha. reality show there's some kind of challenge or some kind of right. thing they have to accomplish okay. to okay. get and somewhere or I something. want project one way to do a BMW you know because I'm one. thinking like the Kardashians and no, no, this no. was like, more like they this was a reality in? show, like a competition gotcha. reality show. Gotcha. Okay. And um, yeah, Survivor. <laughs> I love that show. I, I do. Too. Well, I do used to love that show. I, love I haven't watched it I love forever. Show, Survivor. No. So um, and and I've been a part of like you know different reality shows where they get down to the final three, four people, and then you're brought in for some kind of you know. Because I'm a novelty act, you so, know. So more like punked, or like the one well, where if you don't get pissed off in five minutes, you get a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good well, one. Well, I the did. Way. You know what? I did. One? Okay, I did do a reality show. Several. It was actually for Britain um, several years ago, and it was called Vegas Virgins. And what they had is they brought people to Vegas that had never done any any gambling in their life. So what they would do is they would have a <laughs> poker Make class. They addicts. would go. That part of their day was they would learn how to play poker every day. They'd have a class because they'd never gambled before. Then they'd have some kind of challenge where they earned their chips to play in the game that night, and the loser of that game went home. Well, and I was brought in when they were, and I can talk about this now because it was done several years ago. But um, where they had um, the final three. And they told these people from London that here in Vegas, you just show up at the chapel, and if you get married, you're married. So they had me, they teamed me up with the guy who was one of the final three. They had one of our famous transsexual, or uh, he's not really transgender, transsexual, drag 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 queens, but he was a, he's a big drag queen, you know, he's a big guy that, you know, he's great. And then they had a midget with the other, because the other two were girls. And so they had to, they took it to the chapel and they were like had to if had you to get choose. married you know, if you get married then you're going to get your coins for that night and they had Elvis and so these people really thought they were marrying us you know in wow. this thing yeah and the guy that had me he was like <coughs> he was thinking twice about it and I was like what? what's wrong with me 
you know, like, why don't you want to marry me? You know, and stuff. And oh, then he wow. finally did. And then they take him off the side and they tell him, you're not really married. And they thought they were really married. Oh, so, that's awesome. and so this one was similar to a kind of challenge that they had to do. And so we'll see what happens. So bef- before we leave, I just want to say before I leave, because I got to get out of here. Um, I just want to tell all the listeners and the Ustream people and just people that we've, you know, collected over the years. Thank you guys so much for supporting all of us and me. And it has been just a crazy three years. It has it's, been. it's been, you know, I was talking about Bo the other day, Super Bo Sunday. Oh. And uh, I was, I just went hysterical. I'm like, oh my God, to think all this started from that crackhead, you know? And all the other stories that we right, had from back right, then. Right, yeah. right. And I am, you know, I'm proud of that goddamn list that I have three quarters of it. <laughs> I think we counted up to like 75 names on the original Something, list. Something, yeah. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. So thank you guys so much for listening and supporting us through everything and all these years and keep supporting these girls and keep listening to them and keep sending them in your crazy crackhead shit because I know y'all are going to have some <laughs> fucked up ass stories still. And Everybody's got crackhead yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and I like I said, I will be back from time to time and, and y'all ain't getting rid of me. Damn so. straight. <laughs> if anything, we'll have lunch and I'll bring her stories to the air Damn like we do skippy. with uh, <laughs> right. Olga Right, right. So, all right. Well, I got to get out of here. I got kids Aww. at home. No. Well, you know, we only right. got like 10 minutes or not even that much, like five oh, that's minutes. True. So that's you true. Hang out, we can give hugs and all that kind of crap. I can do that for you. All do right. I get to feel boobs? Uh, sure. Sure. Do my <laughs> boobs get to be felt? Absolute <laughs> fucking not. And I'm totally staying. <laughs> boobies. <laughs> boobies solve everything. And uh, you know what? And that Let me let me cover that. One of the, I, I know, I somebody said to me. Um, once about we do a lot of things on the show that exploit what women are what like the boob shots and things like that no self-respecting woman would do anything like that (laughs) (laughs) self-respecting motherfucker but here's the thing (laughs) (laughs) this show was about owning who you are and your sexuality. And your body and inside, outside, upside down, God right side out, straight. tied to the bed or not. Because the more knowledgeable yeah. you are about your own body, the more likely you're going to make sure that somebody else takes care of your body. That's, That's right. right. Very good. Living a healthy lifestyle starts with a healthy mindset. God damn straight it does. You've got to love yourself no matter what. I know that whole adage about no one's going to love you till you love yourself, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of crap, but it's also kind of true. It's very true. I, I mean, if you feel like you're not pretty and you walk around and act like you're not pretty and then you dress like you're not pretty, then no one's going to think you're pretty because you keep hiding how pretty you are. And how many people have we had in the studio, guests, that say confidence is such a turn on to yeah. see somebody Glamour magazine. Uh, yes. I think we discussed it. I don't know if we discussed it last week, but Glamour magazine put out a poll at uh, and like a thousand men were asked you know uh questions about sexuality and what What's they're attracted the to thing? confidence right. confidence is that and um didn't matter if the woman was oversized or undersized or whatever it's all about the confidence yep. part of being an olympics widow means that i have broadened my horizons on olympics and i have seen and i'm going to try to get them on the show but one of our olympic athletes from the u.s team on the heavyweight lifting team is holly mangold <laughs> which is a great name by the way <laughs> Mangold, because I love mangold in my mouth. But anyway, um, <laughs> that's what I'm calling. Wait, it wouldn't that be on. silver? <laughs> Bronze tastes like copper. Um, it's <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> she is 350 plus pounds, and she is a badass like weightlifter. Like she's hucking like 400 pounds and shit. Just boom, boom, oh. I didn't know they had women's weightlifting. Is oh, that yeah. a new sport? No, no, no. Yeah. They've had it for a long time. I watched it, I think, in the pre-qualifiers where the little tiny Chinese women were lifting. Oh, The, the girl weights. who won was a Russian girl. Weighed less than I did. Yeah. Lift, lifted twice my weight almost. Yeah. She was great. Wow. So Holly Mangold, they were, they were interviewing her because she looks like an SSBBW. She's got a big gut, big boobs, big ass, big everything, right? And they, and the lady who was interviewing her was like, you know, you're, they, they were talking about how Olympic athletes come in all sizes and they asked her about her weight and her size and she goes, 
well, when I first got here, everyone kept asking me, am I here to see the Olympics? <laughs> and then when I would tell them that I'm in the Olympics, they didn't react very well. And she goes, now I just don't really care. I'm here to compete. And what they think of me doesn't matter. Right I want on. her to win so yes. bad. How do we cheer she, for her? Um, she's already, she took 10th place. Oh, oh she's beautiful. She is. She's very pretty. She's got a beautiful she's face. She's blonde. Oh, I, I, I already her. friended her on Facebook. <laughs> She's That's awesome. her brother. Look up her brother. Find her brother. It's Nick Mangold. He's a professional. He's an NFL player. And when I saw his picture, I immediately thought of Alexia. And so did Callie Guy. He goes, look, it's Thor. I said, I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> he is beautiful. I'm going to post her picture up on our website. All right. So great. Holly Mangold. On our um, Facebook, rather. Then on our water polo team, we have Brenda Villa. And she's uh, more like a chublet, less a, a big girl. But she is gorgeous as well. And the women's water polo team has only been around for four Olympics. And she's been on the water polo team for every single Olympics. Oh, that's that awesome. Been on. She's like the Olympics pro on the water polo team. That's great. Via V-I-A? V-I-L-L-A. Oh, Villa. Villa. Via. Went Brenda Via. And then the other one, who's another heavyweight lifter, her name is, I'm pulling it up. Nope, not that one. That's porn. Oh, she's beautiful. Sarah too. Robles. She said that's porn. <laughs> she said that's porn. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah, Brenda Via. She is beautiful. And then, look at her. You should see her in her suit, dude. She's curvy and beautiful. And then there's Sarah Robles, who's also a weightlifting champ. Uh, she came in like fifth or sixth or something like that. We didn't we didn't meddle in h- women's heavy weightlifting. We're like two minutes left, I guess. But uh, I was like, who was the last one? Uh, Sarah Robles, R O B L E S, and amazing. Just that our Olympic team <coughs> comes in all of these shapes. It was great. That's awesome. Yeah, so I'm going to try to get them on the show, everyone. if Find them on Facebook, all of our fans, and tell them they need to come on the show because I'm going to start emailing them on Facebook soon. So all there right. she is, Sarah there Robles. She, she wow. kind of, she, yeah, she's a good looking girl too. Look at that one. Yeah. Oh, hawking it. We got a picture of her lifting her weights. With I think it's tucked under her belly or her fupa right there. I think it's, yeah, I think it <laughs> is under her fupa. It's awesome. Wow. So uh, I'll download that picture too. That's good stuff. I was so excited to see them. I'm like, every time, because I'm upstairs on the computer and Callie Guy's downstairs watching the Olympics. And then he goes, babe, come look at the big girl in the pool. <laughs> there she is. Oh, wow. Oh, pretty awesome. fast. Awesome. awesome. And so he's been pausing it to let me see like all the shapely girls that are in the Olympics. And I was surprised there are a lot of them. There's a, there, the Italian team has a really big girl in their water polo What about team the too. shot putters? They're always a big girl. Oh, yeah. Those were huge I, girls. I don't shot know what it is. I don't know what it is. But I think just being a member of the, an, an, an Olympic team, it doesn't matter what country you're from. You're the best in the makes world. Makes you beautiful. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm watching yes. the s- the yeah. swimmers, and I'm Phelps watching. Phelps is an ugly dude, but um, you put him in a trunks with the USA right? cap on, he's hot. You know what? Phelps is fucking adorable, and he reminds me of myself. No, uh, yeah, I think Lochte is Lochte is yeah, yeah, him. Like, yes. No, no, Lochte yes. looks like Frank Mir's little fucking brother. Oh my Lochte God, he is yummy. Yeah, he's a cutie. Oh, yummy. And who's the guy that's like six foot eight? Um, which one? Uh, the swimmer, B- Bevins, Brevins, some shit or another. He's beautiful too. Yeah. Yeah, the swimmers. Thank you very much, everybody. No, we got time. Oh, do we, we got, got time? time? I thought you were knocking us off. No, no. Here. I, I thought. I thought. Uh, ca- I thought. Oh, 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 oh. Was having the a heart camera. Attack. That's I see. Oh, I see it. Hold on, I'm fixing it. <laughs> Are we moving around too much that we got all fucked up? No, there we go. It. it it floats. It's so better. Floating give camera. everybody their last view of Calypso. Burp. As a regular member of the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City. And now she's going to be special guest. Yeah, Yay. special guest Calypso. Yay. Calypso. That Could sounds awesome. good. Go USA. Vote Ron Paul. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Stop it>. <laughs> <laughs> and my mission is to make her not waste her vote. I will vote <coughs> the way that I choose to vote, and if that means I'm going to be in the voting booth, yeah. your vote is your vote in the voting booth. Whatever it is, though, get, be, get informed That's and right. go vote. That's right. how I am. Vote. Find right. out what means the most to you and study it. You can't. I can't stand about these shit motherfuckers. That are posting all this shit on Facebook, and it's totally wrong information. It because th- they heard one person say it, and that's what they believe. Study it yourself. People. It just happened. Somebody said, "R.I.P. Carol Burnett." Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Study it, you guys. Read it. If you're if you're worried about the taxes, if you're worried about our borders, if you're worried about uh, education, study it and see who stands for what you stand for. That's right. 
don't take somebody else's get word. Get a little involved. You have to. You right. cannot yeah. live. And if you anybody wants to work for the Obama campaign, call me because I'm a team member now. <laughs> you, you can't just go in and push a button. You need to be informed. You need to know who you're voting for. And um, not voting is not necessarily an excuse, but it is It is also a form of voting. So this is Alexia. Calypso, Mama. Sweet Cheeks. And Sierra wishing you all a good night. And remember, fuck, fuck often. often. This podcast is being brought to you by VegasAllNetRadio.com, the final frontier of free speech. And by SinCityBountyMedia.com, advertising for radio or on the web, elegance in simplicity. And by AntiqueLetters.com, for all your graphic, illustration, and hand calligraphy needs. This is Cheryl with...